<laughs> oh my god, what is that? That's not Michael Golden, that's Art Adams. <coughs> well, it has Michael Golden isms. <laughs> Who else was influenced by Michael Golden, Kelsey? <laughs> Let me check the script. <laughs> Yeah, we got, I mean, I just wanted to start off with showing a little uh, evolution to Michael Golden. We're going to go back in time. Now, Everyone so many... Grab your bongs. <laughs> you grab your bongs. We're taking a trip in the time machine. Now, so many people are influenced by this individual right here, Art Adams. We got... Uh, you know, Monkey Man and O'Brien. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see more of this. Is Zuma? Yeah. Um, focus, focus. Whoa, so whoa. yeah, we got Art Adams. We got, of course, Jim Lee. How do you spell I mean, Jim Lee? Is it like Gimli? G I M L I? No. It's like Stanley. It's Jim Lee. Stanley, Jim Lee. It's one word. <laughs> one, one, uh, one word. Oh, we got yeah, your Dave. We got, yeah, we got your Dave Johnsons. I'm sure he's a. Uh, we got your uh, Chris Sprouse. Also, a very uh, an admitted uh, fan of this individual. Evo, we got your Evo Jason. Shea. Yeah, we got your Jason oh, Pearson. Great! Look at that that cover of that. Wait, flip it over. The other one. The other one. That cover is so badass, and the color yeah. is great. Yeah, it's great. And then, then I mean, this is actually, oh, yeah. uh, I believe, drawn by this individual and inked by Pearson. Yeah. He also did some covers in here, which we'll look at. But yeah, we're uh, of course talking about the great Michael Golden. He is great. Who has influenced generations of talent in the comic book industry, uh, including myself, um, and probably Rich too. So here now, like I told you that I have a secret introduction that I wanted to make. Oh yeah, show those. Keep going. You you keep on the track. <laughs> So well, go ahead, tell your story. I'll flip well, through explain, explain to them what's interesting about those Jackie Chan comics, the Spartan X's. What's interesting about those? Well, it's interesting is he wrote and uh, illustrated these. He also um, he did uh, this. This particular one's in black and white, right? So you can see all the detail. There's two in... versions of those comics that you can get. You can get the black and whites, which are awesome, and also color versions. Not all of them, but there's quite a few black and whites. Yeah, and it has uh, these particular ones are special too because it has a behind the scenes where uh, Mr. Golden talks about how he makes this stuff and also how they got this series going. So show the, you, show the cover of that one so people can know which issue that one is. So that's Spartan X number one, but you want to make sure that you get the black and white edition, which I don't believe it says on the cover. But um, if you buy it on eBay, this is what I would recommend is just shoot the seller a note and ask them to peek inside the comic to make sure which one you're getting. The color one is great, no no doubt. But oh, see, now I don't have that one. Is that... Um, and issue four. I've never yeah. seen that number three variant cover. With issue four is uh, inked by Rick Magyar. Oh, yeah. he's. I, I think him. maybe three and four, actually, because Armando... No, Armando Gill did the first three. And um, I I like both these inkers. I don't particularly like either one of them on Michael Golden, <laughs> but oh. <laughs> but it, it, it's not you know it works. Right. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. So and here's the man your, himself. Your camera is a tiny bit pixely for me. Just it's like that. That's good right there. But yeah, the further the further away shot you were doing looked a little. It's a little um almost like um like you know like what 3D looks like without the glasses. Like it's got a little bit of a um. Like a what's, blue, like a blue highlight on everything. What's chat say? They got a clear image. Yeah, it might be uh, the the YouTube yeah. compression. Uh, yeah, yeah, no worries. I just figured I'd let you know. But um, yeah, um, so it's a product so, of live streaming, I think. Sure. Did they ever finish the Black and White Jackie Chan series? I don't believe that they did actually. Well, um, no, they they finished this. This series is one through four, uh, which they did finish. Okay. But there was another two issues, uh, another two issue miniseries that was advertised, uh, but didn't come out. And I asked Michael about this, and he's under the impression that they did come out. So I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. So, um, but they didn't. Trust me. 
so there's two things that I think about when I think about Michael Golden's art. The first is he's cover ripping off good. Oh, speaking of that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have a book here filled with Michael Golden covers. That looks very familiar to my book. Yeah. I know, no offense to any of the interior artists on those comic books, but I don't have any of those books complete. I only have the covers. I have, yeah, I have a whole... I'm like having flashbacks in my binder. I swear to God. It looks <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of us, a lot of us do this, and you oh know, it's un... Dude, this is too weird. It's I mean, unfortunate for the people that actually worked on the interiors, but it looks, you know. it looks like you're flipping through my book. I'm tripping out. So, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. This is. Uh, look at it. I love this. Let me uh, try to get I focused. I How beautiful. Focus. I couldn't find mine this morning, but it, that's hysterical, dude. Keep going. I uh, maybe I stole it. That's why. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I don't have those. I don't have oh. those comics. Mutant X. Oh, got I have more, the more Punisher. More Punisher. <laughs> um, of course, oh, you got the body okay. bags. Now I have that. That's that's even that's more savage than I am. Well, that's if you notice. Though. If you notice, these are the advertisements, not right, the actual right, right, covers. Right, okay, right. I I couldn't because one they're in black and white. I love zoom that. In on this. Do that. It's in black. Yeah. Well, it's black and orange, but you get it. Uh, but there's okay. also you know I couldn't I couldn't rip up my covers of those. That's a hell of yeah. a book. I'm look. I'm watching the TV to make sure it looks clear too. So yeah, no worries. I you my, my mic is I oh yeah these are so good. The, the 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 detective run is probably my all time favorite cover run. Yeah, no, I mean, for sure. Uh, I mean, he had the guts to like go small with Batman and put him in this epic environment yeah. of Gotham City. You know, whereas other people would make Batman the the central, you know, thing. He really, uh, yeah, he really like expanded that's, the idea. That's but I love this one too, where he's like diving down this staircase. And like, there's this, yeah, there's this like person over here to the side, like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. I, I had that that hanging up in my office at Wildstorm for ten years easily. Yeah, <laughs> this now one, that, of course, this is one of my favorites. Well, and that's funny. So that one I don't have, and I I don't even feel like I had seen it before this morning. Um, but yeah, that one's very cool. But I I don't own that one. Look how the uh, the shadow goes. It goes to underlight. Like it'll it goes to like shadow, and then there's an it picks up the underlight. Yeah, uh, in in the shadow, like it's just it's genius. I mean, I don't know. Of course, Nam. Yeah. Yeah, Nam. Uh, you know that's one of the that penultimate. It's great. Uh, yeah, I love this because, like, look at everybody's faces too. Like, they're all like, "Oh my god!" Oh. Yeah. You know, trying to get somebody who's hanging down, I guess. Throw a dinosaur on there, and you've got one of his Jurassic Park covers. <laughs> yeah, what a great segue. Oh, you're not a problem, dude. I'm here to set you up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, tantalize you. With the Michael Golden Jurassic Park portfolio. Oh, these are great. Which is the black and white 11 by 17, which I, I kind of assumed that he had done them bigger. But right. Because even at this scale, it's the detailing is so small. Here, let me get my knife. Uh well, I mean, I've got I've got some pretty big scans of things. So Carlos Deanda actually bought both of those print sets. So I actually have photocopies of them. I never owned those, but I have full sets of um, high res like um, color copies of them. But yeah, those are but like this uh, this one in particular. I mean, all of these are stunning, but there's one in particular that's uh, and then <laughs> I do a lot of this that's, kind of stuff. The, yeah. Where people are falling off screen or jumping out of screen totally comes from golden. Zoom in a little bit on that one, or maybe pull it closer to the camera because it's like I said, it's it's very pixely to me. And someone in the comment section said it was a little bit too. I'm watching it on the screen, and I can see what you're talking about. And I'm not really. It must be the uh, the compression of YouTube because yeah. it's really it's strange. Different. The other the other videos though, I don't remember your camera doing that though. It's funny. It must be a bad connection we're having because, yeah, it shouldn't. Oh, that's really nice. It's probably because of a live stream. I don't know. It could be. But 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, check this one out. I'm gonna zoom in on if I can find it. Oh, is it the um, one behind the, behind the um, controls of the helicopter? No, I got oh, that one too. But, uh, I, I thought it's the one where he's standing uh, with all the. It might be in this one. This one where he's standing with all the uh, the two guys are taking pictures, and there's like a T Rex behind him. And there's if you look in the bushes, there's um, oh yeah, here's the one you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> You can see like all the detailing. I mean, look at the the like. Where is it? I can't even tell where I'm at. Look at there's like detailing. Oh, okay. Here, I'm gonna make you full screen. Okay, let me. That uh, might help. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, focus, focus. Hold That's on. not me. Okay, let me uh, get you full screen. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. How do, I make, the, how, do I, how do I make yours full screen? The top left corner. It says solo. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, oh, here I, I get it. Or top right. Okay, solo layout. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I love this. Where uh, let's see if that looks a little better. It's hold on. I'm waiting to see in the TV. Yeah, it's a little better. It's still kind of chunky, okay. but uh, if you look at the detailing in the cockpit, I mean, there's even blood on the instruments and stuff. But there's little hands and ticks and numbers on all this stuff i mean the detailing is absolutely insane and this is probably and i mean knowing him mm -hmm. it's probably accurate and like i've heard that he doesn't ref as much as you think he would because uh he just has a really solid memory for tech right um oh, man, this. That, this is awesome. This was like a special that was made for, um, what do you call it? Uh, just for the print set. And I, I love that you could see like uh, the car. I mean, they must have referenced some of this, I'm sure. But um, yeah, I, got, I don't know where the one is that I'm thinking of. Uh, look at this one with the motorcycles too. It's got like, again, you're seeing like this path of action where it's coming in from off panel. And then going off panel. Yeah. I love that stuff. Um, here's one. Yeah, but you, you can you I can love, see love, like that piece. in the details, like there's this isn't the one I'm thinking of, but when you get real close, there's you know, the this plant has seed pods and whatnot. I mean it right. the 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 tire the tires having tread and you know, uh oh look, there's his signature. It's in the uh <laughs> Right there, Michael Golden. It's like Michael L. Golden. I'm gonna I'm gonna go check my mic audio. A lot of people are saying that it's very quiet today, and I haven't done anything different on my end. So they told me to check Streamyard and check the mic. So I'm gonna look into that really fast. Is that am I quiet too? I'm kind of I'm kind of off mic a little bit. The mic's off to the side, so I don't know if uh, if I'm quiet. Also, it could be because I'm not facing my microphone. Um, but yeah. What? Go oh, ahead. Check. Uh, let me. So, does this sound better? I I just switched to something else. Do I? Am I coming through louder now? Uh, to me, yeah. Let me. Let, no, but I'm asking the chat. Chat. Is my mic louder now? I just switched something. It had it had gone to another default setting. But let me know in the chat. Anyone, please. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Let me. I'm gonna unplug my mic and plug it back in. So just go ahead and keep showing art. For all a right. Second. Yeah. So one of the first things I'd seen of Michael Golden, of course, is Bucky O'Hare. Uh, that I don't know. I think he. I'd seen him. He'd been around, but I, it wasn't. It didn't really click uh, until like I saw this, and it was so different. But it got me into, you know uh the the kind of world building that he does you know and just the 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 draftsmanship you know and seeing like this kind of stuff uh really hit me when i was a kid you know having the character sitting in the cockpit uh of the ship you know seeing that from the outside i don't know it really did something to me <laughs> uh definitely cool uh oh now he lost his camera no, no, no. I'm. I was. Just, I was. I was resetting it up. 
Now I'm, I'm gonna fuck around with the audio. Hold on, I'm gonna put you solo again though for a sec while I do this. Yeah, yeah. You know, I may have to show some of this stuff off in an actual video, like in 4K. But I, and honestly, you should go get you some of this stuff because yeah. it's it's as long as I've been looking at Golden, it it never seems to get old. Like you seem to find there's his signature. You seem to find uh, new things like every time you look. Uh, this is a great book too, as well. All of these are uh, from Tomorrow's Publishing. They do uh, Modern Masters, and uh, I got a ton of these. They they've done everybody from Walt Simonson to you know whom I think of Bruce Tim, Michael Golden. Uh, they do they've done everybody, and it's 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 like a an interview with them, a retrospective of like their older works. And uh, you get to see a lot in black and white, a lot of sketches. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend snagging some of these books if you can. These are great. Um, but yeah, then so like one of the one of the last like amazing things that I've seen him do is actually in this uh, Mini Worlds of Tesla Strong, it's a right. sweet sweet Bruce Tim cover. But this, I mean, um, you can tell when he's really inspired by stuff. Uh, because like he really gets into the weeds with it. Like when you see this panel and you see that there's all these bugs, like, right. uh, he drew every one of them, you know, yeah. and then they disappear into the darkness and you can still kind of see them in there. And then, you know, they start unloading. Do you feel like, like, um, does he do finished pencils or do you think it's, it's like maybe like a, a little bit of blue line just to place things. And then he goes in and sort of draws with the ink. No, he's full, full on, full pencil. We can see some in here. Um, I'll show you. He he does. Uh, actually, uh, yeah. Uh, let me get the. Uh, where's my stack of um? What you call it? The uh, again, the Spartan X are a great way to kind of see his methods. So um, if you look in here, you can see how uh this this is like rough penciling for him oh this right. is like and then he'll go in and clean it up to like more this level where you can see you know it's it's a lot tighter so uh like down here here's his penciling you can right. see oh my god that's nuts he inks with the pencil uh i wish yeah. i can keep it keep it this close but I, i'm having to adjust the adjust the uh, uh what do you call it the per, focus in order right. to get it to zoom in but like this is his, yeah, this is that that's crazy this is his layout drawing so he does everything in this like outline right um you can even see uh guides that shows the center line right things like that uh and then in this next stage the penciling it, you know he gets rid of all that and he just does like the rendering and stuff sure. oh my god <sighs> <laughs> it's exhausting pulling this focus so you can see yeah, actually no, see the details don't don't even sweat it man i've got probably 200 or 300 files and some of them are big huge like high-res files so yeah we can get into some of that now if you want i mean this yeah. this uh honestly i just wanted to show like there's i got the man's signature himself oh, nice what does it uh, say above it michael golden oh <laughs> m golden yeah it's almost it was 2012 hard. Yeah, hard to read. Now, does my mic sound better now? Look at it was this. it was weird because I noticed the other day that StreamYard wasn't like it looked like it had like I had to re-log in. It was kind of weird and like not, none of my defaults were there. So I'm wondering if if um they maybe updated it or something. I have no idea, but it's very difficult for me on my end to know like if I'm having an audio issue. So I appreciate when you guys tell us. Oh, that's such a great book. Yeah. Uh yeah, this um, this is absolutely one of the best, and uh, it's probably That's not going to very valuable comic now too. By the way, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't care. No, I know. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I'll put a little mark on it. That's mine for sure. <laughs> it's got the mark. Yeah, but this uh, I'll show you this one bit. This stuff right here. When I saw this when I was a kid, uh, I was like, "What the." You know, because I, I was all into like anime and stuff, and they were like really good at at tech and all that stuff. Hold on, I was going to get to this other page. Uh, where is it? Um, they were really good at like tech and like all this stuff. And I remember having these memories uh, early on 
about this issue and just being blown away by like all the technical stuff. And uh, what's that exact issue? So the people can at least maybe find a digital copy of it. It's a uh, Avengers annual number. Number 10. 10 yeah. Yeah. King annual King size annual number 10. And uh, yeah, you, you, you want to be able to see this in detail, like up close. Cause it's, it's kind of, I mean, seeing it like this full size, especially with, since the, we got the blurriness of live streaming, uh, you, it just won't do it justice. I mean, when you see the detail, and this is why I was trying to find that one uh, Jurassic Park piece that I was talking about where I, I didn't, you can't even see it on the cover, but when you get, when you see it full size, you could see like he drew beetles and bugs like in the trees and, and on the bushes. There's like a little frog in there and the main what's the main image on the cover i can try to find it really fast um it, it's just two guys uh two guys like taking pictures facing camera and then behind them is like oh, okay. this t-rex filling up the entire okay thing um i don't know it's probably around here somewhere i'll find it, I'll find it. but uh yeah some of these i hadn't even looked at but they, they might actually be in here um but yeah i was going to show this piece this right here is probably one of the definitive, you know, things responsible for a lot of my style or where I want to go with style. This one image, uh, just because it has I, the color, you, you'll be able to see a lot of my uh, uh, color oh, yeah. coming from like Michael Golden, actually. You know, he uses a lot of primary stuff. I mean, this, I mean, this one looks like I colored it. Um, Oh, here's this one in black and white. Oh my god. Look at this. The the level of craftsmanship, the level of craftsmanship in this stuff, is, you know, the 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 finessing of every little detail. I mean, this just takes confidence, patience, you know, uh just... Let me ask let me ask you this about Michael Gold. Oh, here it is. Here okay. it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I couldn't find it online. Oh, number yeah. seven. Damn. Return to Jurassic Park number seven. And this is just this is a reprint of a color of the color, but you can still kind of see. Well, here's a beetle flying in the foreground, but like in the uh let's see if I can find it. So you can't even see it, but there's like a little frog somewhere uh in there. It's like a where's Waldo. Right. <laughs> I, I found a decent size scan of it. So when, when oh, okay, I, yeah, I, I, we'll be able to see it a little bit better. Yeah. And then this logo takes up a lot of this, but yeah. you know, that was his, he's definitely thorough. He probably planned out where all of this stuff goes so that the, the T-Rex in the background is an afterthought to this. Now, let me ask you this, Kelsey. Um, have you ever seen Michael Golden like er early in his career where you felt like he was struggling at all as a professional or did, did he come in pretty fully realized? Well, yeah, you look back at like some of the real, real early stuff. Like he did like a um, uh, a Star Wars piece. Uh, some of this is late period stuff where he's just sketching at conventions. Um, but like, okay, Micronauts. You look at Micronauts, you look at like the early Star Wars issue that he did. Uh, some covers for, I mean, they're, they're not as polished and his anatomy, it, it was struggling a little bit still, but yeah, he, he had this level of intensity almost from the get go, you know, in, in, as far as like his thoroughness, right. You know, um, when you look at like early Micronauts, even though it's inked by someone else, there's, there's something, something to it that you know there's a more um more thought put into like stuff that other artists don't put thought into you know now, oh wait can, can you go back to the atst piece let's see where are we at atst piece was that in this book that was a star wars piece i guess i didn't know oh, is it this one <laughs> uh no i think atst is um the the ship from star wars the um oh i thought he's in the ss titty thing i thought that... <laughs> or maybe it is Ass ass titties. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Fragus thing. Oh, oh this, is. yeah. Okay. Well, let me take let me... a picture off of the chat so you can see it. Oh, yeah, that's cool. 
Yeah. I, I I actually love those Marvel Star Wars comic books. Like that series is so fun in all the different art styles. Some of them are very primitive. Some of them are really good. But those are fun comic books. Look at this rifle. I mean, where is it? Look at that. Yeah. The rubble. The the yeah. This is actually um, this image is actually a good good segue to look at this uh, real quick. This um, GI Joe annual. This is. A yearbook. Oh, this is this is one of my all time faves as well. Um, uh, but it's a way more cartoony piece, and it's uh, done mostly in brush, I believe. Um, which I've there's a there's a there's an ongoing like Michael Golden kind of I, I don't know if it's a dis rumor that he mm -hmm. inks everything with a brush. Now oh, I've, as I've heard yeah, as inkers, you know, we we're highly critical of things like that when we hear these things, you know, and I I look at the marks and yes, I see this particular issue looks to be done almost entirely in brush, even a lot of the tech work, you know, because it has it has a uh, a certain quality, you know, you can but I mean some of this even looks like pen. Look at this these little marks right here. Right. You know. You can do that with a brush, but very, very difficult to get that consistent of a line. I'm probably right. he probably uses like ninety percent brush, but if he needs to use a pen, he grabs it. Oh, I've okay. So this is the black and white um book that I have. Yes, and I'm very that, so. jealous of that, and I want to get that. Like you never picked that up? No, I did not. That's a print set, right? It was sold yeah. out when I went and looked. It's sold out. Mm hmm. Hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna have to pick that up on eBay. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you should be able to find it for a decent price. Mine wasn't very expensive. But the squash and stretch too. This is another thing yeah. that I try to do a lot of. Where you see the tires, yeah. You don't worry. Don't worry about the tires being perfectly round. You know, give them shape and make them look like they're flying all over the place and bouncing. And you know, um, kind of gives you permission for that. I mean, look at the the perspective is another thing. I mean, it's it looks. The perspective in this piece is like all all over the place but you know what it's got energy it's exciting he's doing that on purpose he knows how to do proper you know ruled out perspective he's like f that i'm gonna make it exciting <laughs> so oh, wait. Golden, golden said that he didn't use any templates on that issue but you know honestly like i mean i tell people this travis when i did the behind beyond the page um of that wildcats cover right. very rarely did travis use templates when he would draw ellipses and if you try to use ellipses they just would not match up so it's it's not as far-fetched people people put certain things on like this um pedestal like drawing vehicles is so much harder than drawing anything else it's like once you understand perspective and you can draw well things like this are tangible but you have to be able to draw well <laughs> Look at, the, I mean, just the, the attention to the mechanism that folds down the ramp. Oh, I, you his, know? Yeah, I mean, his his mechanics are just phenomenal. He's really got a very, like, almost engineer mind. And then, uh, look at it, he jumps up. Yeah, that's a good point that, like, he very well, this, he could, very well could have been an engineer or yeah. something entirely different. But, and he he loves to play it off that it's not a big deal that this right. is just a job that sure. you know he easily bounces back between toy design and and comics but wow he has to have this deep you know this deep love for comics in order to keep coming back and 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 in order to do this level of quality in a comic book he could have just crapped it out made a dime went off you know but no you this is love I, I almost get the impression, like as a kid, he probably was into like train sets and like little like um, model cars and stuff like that. Because it's just you don't have this attention to minutia unless it's it's just it's. I'm telling you, if you if you knew this kid, if you knew Michael Golden when he was nine years old, I guarantee he was completely obsessed with this stuff. There's just no way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it had to be. I mean, like I was, I was really into like trucks and cars. That's what I drew mostly when I was a kid. So, right. um, I don't really have the aptitude for it like Golden does. But, right. um, oh, look at this. I mean, this is just pure I, insanity. You know, I, I have to get that in color. I love it in black and white. But I actually really am enjoying the colors on it. I think he colored it as well. And like again, a lot of my uh, color influence comes from him, especially. 
the way he he keeps it flat yeah. and, and and but he lets the, the the details of the of the drawing you know really uh do it was alex toss the same way with McKenna? yeah exactly toth could have been a uh an engineer as well i mean these guys could be doing technical drawings for lockheed martin right now right. you know <laughs> well you know what's funny is seeing this it reminded me of um that minecraft video that i sent you the um trixie box kid he's yeah he's the same way his he doesn't even understand how advanced his like design ability is because it's something that he's he's been one doing a long time and two he clearly just is is completely fascinated with how things are um created structurally speaking and it could be the same for golden where he doesn't even realize like how much he knows right well i mean just just in this right here the thoroughness of 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 this middle eastern setting you know with the the old trucks uh, the stuff in the back you know the uh the little shop owners with the fruit stands you know the 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 link you know the bits of language on a you know text it's the thoroughness is just i mean there's he's unequaled unmatched in his thoroughness i think <laughs> as far as like building I mean, it's just, it's detail. I mean, look at the train, for instance. The train, we're dealing with these Russian operatives. And look at the train. It's like this, you know, it's probably based on something. But but then he ups the, you know, ups the game. Uh, this is... Draws fruit in barrels, even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, look at, look at the, you know, you can look at a... Art Adams would probably do that, but like it, it goes down from that point on. You know, people like, oh, they're just taking the essence of Golden without, without the sacrifice. You right. know what I mean? <laughs> well, that's that's kind of uh, typical for for um, uh, copycat artists. Is it's like they grab the surface and don't get the nuts and bolts of things. Yeah. So this this is uh, yeah. this this one. Uh, this one and um, the the one I couldn't find, which I wanted to because it's it is worn out. Pages are falling out of it. It's the uh, the Marvel fanfare uh, with Spider Man and Hulk. Uh, yeah. Hulk Hulk gets this like disease from space, and Spider Man's already got a cold, and like they end up fighting, and then Spider Man sn sneezes on 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 the Hulk. Oh. And, and, it gives the alien thing a, a cold and an earth cold, so it's a little War of the Worlds ish. <laughs> you were saying that I don't know why for a second I thought remember when you told me the story it was about the the Hulk story where he gets mad at the rain. Oh yeah, no, that's James Kachalka. No, I, I love that. <laughs> when you started talking about the Hulk, it immediately made me think of that. <laughs> that was so funny. But um, um, yeah, I mean, I hear we're gonna yeah, keep going through those. Oh yeah, the Hercules covers. And check this out. This is great. All right. Some of these I have. Um, begin. You can see a lot of my color interest coming in this piece alone too. Yeah. How he, you know, he'll block these. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, you see how he's not worried. This is like very old school, and I think that we need to get back to this kind of stuff because you see, yeah. a lot of us would would fully render all of these guys into like their colors and like crazy lighting and whatnot, but that would be distracting. You know, we're trying to focus right here. I mean, where's your eye go? My eye kind of goes like, it goes like, actually it goes right here. So, you know, like yeah. this, this is definitely like the hot spot here. And then these guys fall into the background. And then of course, deep in the background, we got the, yeah, you know, it's really beautiful, deep, deep purple, but like the chains, there's no half-assing those chains. It's they drew them all. <laughs> it is Kevin Sorbo. Come on, Pete. You know that. How Look, it even, it even kind of looks like him. That's well, not bad. <laughs> it's supposed to be him, isn't it? Yeah. But, I mean, again, like the detailing and the clothing. Kevin Sorbo know? was never that buff, though. Look at the detailing in the pants, the whoa, weave. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa hey, whoa, don't look. <laughs> I should have, like, um, look at my dirty nails. <laughs> um the skulls there's no half-assing those skulls if no. there's a skull he's gonna draw a skull it's not gonna be like like i'll draw one skull and then a bunch of like little loopy loops you know for right. the other skulls <laughs> let's see that outsiders cover underneath it the magazine. oh yeah oh, yeah yeah see i don't have that either mm. yeah see th this is again this is kind of like late period stuff he's doing this in the computer oh really interesting um well i don't know 
I remember I remember that switch though actually I remember that switch what you're talking about well I had uh, the Iron Man covers which I don't have I you know what's interesting is honestly like if that cover right there the outsiders cover wait move the magazine it, look at it right there that looks like a Ryan Souk cover if yeah, it kind of does a little it's, bit. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. Uh, in particular, the um the guy with that's getting shot. It really feels like a Ryan Souk piece. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, Souk will have a lot more um uh Kevin Nolan in, uh, right. ren rendering in here. Yeah. Um, and the you can see again. I, I if you if you're familiar with my stuff at all, you'll see like all this the way he approaches lines and things. I and the these bits of See this little bit of shadow, yeah, that's underneath. I, yeah, I, a lot of all of that I picked up from Golden. I mean, it's he's yeah. just a, a wealth of of technique and interesting, you know, lines and just again. Here's that one cover, but oh yeah, that's um, nice. He I did some really too. beautiful. Oh man, those are great too. Hold on, let me say what I was going to say, but don't switch the page. I want to see those. Um, he did some beautiful covers for continuity in the nineties. Yeah, I have all those too. I actually have a whole other book somewhere. Wow, I can't those find are great. It. I've never seen these. This Damn. is a three part thing, and I I don't know where the other one is. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay, let me do the full effect. That that one right there, that issue, that's worth four thousand dollars if you have the comic. No. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, yeah. King yeah, Arthur. Kidding. King Arthur number one is like a great hole. Look at the, that. I mean, so cool. it looks like a Don Bluth piece. It does kind of. I mean, but the, the detail, the, the. Oh, so good. You're killing, bin. dude. You, you realize we should have done this video privately first. It's like a buy all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, this, of course, is years and years and years worth oh, of my God. That is quarter. Amazing. That's quarter my, bin that's quarter bin favorite, diving that's my new favorite uh golden piece i've never seen that yeah i don't know if you can still do this but i i had a really good store that had uh several quarter bins what's and a, what's a store you mean that <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm putting these out of order uh oh don't get me <laughs> all right now here's this this is this is one of my absolute faves what this story talking? oh yeah i've seen that story now tim townsend has the originals the of this is it he is, the owns, part, is the page on the left from the same story or no no this is one page one page of a jurassic park that he did he slaked it more detailed than any other thing i think i've ever seen him that's do. a full comic books worth of detail on oh my god look at that dude that's nuts look See, at that's these nuts. guys like a normal person doesn't draw shit like that he is obsessed with cars there's was it cars guns anything mechanical that's ridiculous. That's so good. What's great is that is that uh, he inked this himself, so you can see like the level of, of detail he does when he's inking right. himself. It's I mean, look at the trees and the grass, yeah. the bits of grass flying up in the air from the truck wheels. But you see the tires again. Yeah, yeah, they're all cattywampus. That's a exactly. Word. Now, if that's it's just a little it's a little secret. Like you know, don't don't whip out them templates, man. You know, uh, just kind of eyeball it and give it give it an interesting shape other than just you know once you once you do that perfect little circle template you know or you're looking for the right oval template right you know it shows so, it shows so t dog 10000 owns this story that he does and i, I actually did know that I I, I I i heard that years and years ago i was very lucky to uh be invited to a party by him at his house in florida and i got to thumb through some of his originals uh, and that fun? tim is the best guy i just loved him and you know uh, i think if 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 i couldn't have this i'll be okay with tim having it <laughs> yeah look at this quote from brohawk hey. called arthur adams i have your dinosaurs right here buddy yeah <laughs> exactly hey yeah, david you want to come on you want to come on yeah send him a link let me know if you want to come on david look at this thing yeah i don't have my phone hooked up yet still right. i'm sure he'll give me crap for that but i i'm so, I'm so bad about like real life stuff that's okay uh, um david's right this. now he's going like but my hair my hair isn't pretty and then <laughs> he's in his underwear and like <laughs> <laughs> Um, this this one bit right here, I love this this uh, yeah. 
Look at the mechanical stuff. This is probably, he colored this as well. I mean, this is like one of my all-time favorite color works. Uh, the, the, the mechanical design. The I mean, just everything about it. Everything about it. Yep. Is just it was, outstanding. So, so we we didn't even. We, did you notice that we went right into Michael Gold and we didn't even do our intro? Yeah, I know. <laughs> we ever have like a like a planned intro? But um, so so let's let's talk about a few things that we would normally do an intro. So where was where who who introduced you to Michael Gold? And this was my analogy that I was going to say. I said I had two things that I want to say. Um, one was that Michael Gold and his cover ripoff were the meaning. Oh yeah, cover off the comic because. It's so good. Anything inside can only be less than. But the other one is, oh, that's Andrew Robinson. He also, you could see the influence in, in Andrew yeah. Robinson as well. Look at this. So, so, the other thing, Golden. so the other thing about Golden that I've I found was Golden is kind of like um, you, you end up meeting a cool friend that knows way more about comics than you, and they turn you on to Michael Golden. Michael Golden is rarely something that I think you come across yourself. It's like you meet a guy and he goes, yeah, you're in the comics, dude, but you need to look at this shit. And you're like, <laughs> then they like kind of they pass you the sort of golden and you go, What in the world is this? Well, I had I do have an interesting story about golden in that the the first comic book that I truly remember. Like I, I had a friend uh early on um who was very much into comics and and I liked art but I, I didn't really care about comics at the time, but we'd go hang out uh, at his house and read comic books. And I remember seeing like John Buscema and John Byrne and early stuff, but I didn't know who they were. Um, but before that, uh, I was in, I was into trucks. I wanted to be a truck driver and my mom knew this and she, I guess at a truck stop on a trip or something, she found this comic book called us one trucking. Oh, I can't and remember that. It's about, 18 wheelers that can fly. <laughs> yeah. oh, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And like a I transformers thing, kind of like, or just like no, no, they just are like 18 wheelers. And they just fly, you know, they fly up in the air. I don't well, know. I don't, I don't, I never read it. All right. I don't know. <laughs> and I don't, I have no idea what the deal, what the deal is. Uh, but years later, I found out that he painted the cover uh, for the first one, which I had. Oh, so, right. you're telling me that. So technically, my first comic book uh, art interest was the cover was by was Michael Golden. So I like to credit him as like my first comic book love. You know, <laughs> yeah. JJ Kirby tried to get me into him at Wildstorm when we were both interns, and he was going on and on about Michael Golden. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see this this stuff. And he showed me like Nam number eight or something like that. And I flipped through it, and I was like. This stuff is like good, but it's like I don't know what you're talking about because it's like, <laughs> because he kept getting more simple on the Nam. Like if you look at the later issues, they're definitely not like issue one. It's well, a lot like, of that, a lot of that too is his inker. Like he inked, I think, the first couple. Then Armando Gill came in, and then or 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 John Beatty. Right. I think John Beatty went after, and it was way way cleaner. And there's one issue, issue five, which I just think mm -hmm. is absolutely brilliant. I think they were harmonizing perfectly uh john Beatty and michael golden um uh but yeah it, it, when he inks himself he he does a lot more detail um and, and it's way more thorough i mean right. you could see like in here did he ink um, the first issue of the nam himself i think so yeah okay yeah, the first issue blew me away when i when i got it i got it but i but i had owned michael golden pieces before that because i had bought the continuity covers and i always liked like the covers of the armor i think it was they I were have, great i have the uh i have a nam trade somewhere and the covers like falling off and i let i mean i've i've looked at this stuff so much some of these covers i didn't rip off they fell off <laughs> you know right. and i kept them so uh yeah this yeah. um but yeah, my, Michael Golden is is just probably my number one influence, and uh, I just love him to death. And I, you know, he's such a prickly pear. I'd never tell him that. You know, like I remember I met him once, and uh, people were like, "Go talk to him. Go talk to him." I was like, "No, no." You know, like, I gotta, what am I gonna say? Oh, I love your stuff, Mister Golden. And he'd be like, "Shut up, kid." You know, like, because <laughs> I'd heard all these stories that. He doesn't like uh, hero worship. Right. Uh, he's not into fandom at all. 
he didn't do conventions for years and years and years. There was this legend that he, when he got his original art back from the publishers, he ripped it all up oh. because he had a bad experience with original art where somebody was a real fan of his work and he sold him a piece and that, and then he ended up seeing it for resale for like right. twice as much. And that rubbed him the wrong way so bad that he didn't give out, he didn't sell his original art for 20 plus years or more. Right. Stuff like so, that piss you off. I mean, artists, you know, it's like we put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into our shit. And it's like, you know, um, people that collect art sometimes are not as. It, it, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even want to get into it. It's, so, some of it is like. Uh, well, to me, to me, it, it shows that he does care, you know, that oh, of course. this is important to him, you know, and that, you know, the, the level of craft that he does put into this. It isn't just a product of who, who he is. He loves this stuff. You know, he has to. So, and, and then years later, he, of course, uh, uh, I think Renee Witterstadt um, pulled him out of his cave, uh, which she's done many times, but she's got him out to conventions, got him talking to people. He brought out all of his original art. And so it's like, oh, he didn't destroy them. They exist. So all of this is still out there. And now is in the in the in the market of original art, and he's done a a ton of convention sketches too. So he's he's kind of changed his tune, and right. um, but yeah, I haven't seen him around lately. So he must be working on you know stuff that we are not. He does that a lot. He'll go and do toy designs and things that we'll never get to see. Right. Uh, and I've had the opportunity to work on some animated shows uh with people and the, who are also golden fans and they've gotten him to to come on and do art so i got to see some of that stuff and it's no less thorough right. <laughs> it's so detailed and it's like this is not great for animation mike <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't super crazy about the colors on these these yeah. like, covers but i think that the drawings are really good but i the oranges and beiges were throwing me off a little bit well and also you know god bless him uh he went to digital and started doing motion blur you know oh. and i'm like mike mike you know stop it with the motion blur man we want to see your art right i i really despise motion blur i do too it's funny i i actually it's like i literally had two color notes for crystal planet and one was don't put blurs on any of my stuff <laughs> don't worry <laughs> isn't that funny i don't like i don't like blurs like if i spend the time drawing something here comes david uh david is here hey here we go hey take me off a of full screen okay so uh let's see we do this david what's david up williams what's how are you buddy can you hear me yeah and yeah probably better than we can hear me <laughs> <laughs> hey, going, never play it, david turn it up <laughs> this, what? Is, this is perfect actually though david because i i told kelsey that you were interested in coming on and uh you know uh i said um do you know who some of david's favorite artists were and kelsey ran down like a short list but uh this is great yeah um, i mean uh, we need to do a uh i was hoping to have you on and talk about romita because i know he's your guy yes he is absolutely yeah so uh, how much does golden play into this uh huge you know yeah. i mean I, the the sad thing is that i was exposed to like arthur adams first but <laughs> arthur, arthur adams was the guy who hit me to michael golden and then oh was, no kidding yeah and so he let me know where his influence were coming from and then i started gobbling up all of michael golden stuff and i was just like whoa you know it didn't make me dismiss anything that art was because no, art took it in a, in a whole other direction but you could still see the the influence and you know uh okay. i didn't take any shame in you know wanting to you know uh, stand on his shoulder, so to speak, you know, and, right. and not take, at all. Cues, take cues as me, uh, you know, that that would help me. You know, I didn't want to be a complete, you know, Michael Golden clone. I don't think anybody could, even if they no, <laughs> right. no. But I mean, just just trying to get to that level br brings you up several notches 
to, and you'll, you'll kind of, you know, even though you're, you know, you're not capable of getting there, you kind of, you kind of do in a, in a different, you know, not as, as good, but you definitely level up. Oh, for sure. For sure. And, you know, I don't think there's any kinks in his armor either. Just for a guy who's about, you know, the, the aesthetic, he doesn't, you know, shirk his duties on being a good storyteller. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. That's one of the, I was really, I hope you have scans of this, Rich. Maybe we should go into scans. Cause like there's yeah, I the, just, uh, I, I just plugged David's deviant art for people that don't know. David oh, yeah. Or, or Brohawk. Seriously. David is probably one of the greatest comic book artists of the last 30 years. I, and I, I don't say that lightly. I mean, if you're a fan of Adam Hughes or any of those Gaijin styles and stuff like that, David like is phenomenal, phenomenal. I'm telling you, and he's so. I think David needs way more exposure. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't want to embarrass David, but David is another Michael Golden in 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 a way because he's he's an artist that we all admire and 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 just are dazzled by. He's but that's man. enough. That's enough of that crap. <laughs> <laughs> like, like check out he's on, he's on deviant art is brohawk just seriously all you need to do take a peek for three seconds right now and just look at the thumbnails and you're going to be like holy fuck <laughs> i was uh, I, when i grabbed, when i when i grabbed the link i was like dude it looks like a michael golden thumbnail gallery almost <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're so, gonna okay. check you're gonna turn me into Bugs Bunny. Oh, tell me more about my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So okay. So we're gonna. I'm. I'm gonna. Oh, I've. I have a bunch of files open. So I'm gonna share my screen, and yeah. we're gonna look at um, bigger files that we can zoom in on um, uh, here. So let me grab. The... Yeah. I, well, David mentioned uh, the storytelling, and that made me think of again that Marvel fanfare that uh, uh, of Hulk Spider-Man because that. That that's kind of one again one of the early th experiences with how story could really be on a page visually, uh, because it's it's a masterpiece of storytelling. Same with that Spider Man or the uh, Wolverine toy issue, the 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 Wolverine uh, Christmas thing. Right. It's just I mean the way he flows. For one thing, you could see that he's designing the page so that each image will flow you into the next. Like it's, it has a, um, you know, he's doing the classic kind of Z thing across the page, but, Here's uh, oh man, look at this. See, this is what I'm talking about. And he don't, he don't slack. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you consider this, do you consider this tight pencils? <laughs> yes. <laughs> very, very. <laughs> As an inker, I would just be like, dude, like, bro, why don't you just grab a pen and like ink it? <laughs> well, nowadays they just darken it and sure. you know. Oh my god. I it's crazy. I didn't even really know I had this. This is nuts. <laughs> Golly, wow. that's that's outstanding. I think I don't I I don't remember who inked this one. This might have been it's one a, of the it's Armando. Yeah, someone in the chat said Armando Gill inked the first issue of the NAM. Oh, okay, yeah. All but right. I don't I'm not hundred percent sure. You what you know what I'm thinking? Um, there's there's bits that he did little short pages. Like in in one issue, there's a tunnel rat mini story. Yeah. That he inked all himself, and it's it's yeah. mind boggling. And I think oh, there's another one. This shit. Oh man. Woo! Oh my fucking a, man. I actually like Beatty's inking on him, um, yeah. even though it kind of does stiffen it up just a tad. Jesus. Uh, and it gives it a kind of mechanical quality, but it, it's it, it's so clean, oh and, and he's respectful of every kind of nuance that he does. I, I he's he's thorough, like Golden. So I ended up liking Beatty's stuff. Look how beautiful this hand is! I was really lobbying to get Carl Story to ink his stuff. I, I wrote Renee Ritterstatter, and because Carl is like a huge Golden fan as well, and he has that thoroughness in his inks that could really play off golden well but uh, they you know golden's like i don't care you know <laughs> like <what? laughs> oh my god look at this shit it's just a job dude you know <laughs> this is fucking insane dude yeah here i'll be right back okay it's almost like a waste to actually ink it <laughs> i know it's, it's like man they should have look at this bottom panel david yeah 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 beautiful 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is this is really cool. Oh, he's picking his nose in this panel. It's kind of funny. This is this this is the kind of stuff that makes you just want to fall on your pencil and have your guts yeah. fall out, you know, <laughs> just surrender. <laughs> you know, this is, like, is this HB lead? Because it's like he shades everything in. It looks fairly dark, but it doesn't look super smudgy. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, when when a, when a penciler is shading in all the black areas like this, they're really, really, like, trying to control. Like, they want to really see how the finished piece is going to look. And, and, and he's also so confident that he knows the editor will wait for him. So he gets to, you know, enjoy. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Okay, so this is some of the black and white G.I. Joe annual stuff. Oh. Or yearbook, sorry. Yeah. Woo. Kelsey's it's missing out. It's got a little bit of almost like an Al Williamson, uh, Wally Wood kind of vibe when you see it in black and white. Like, it's it's got that, that kind of sure, vintage flair. But then... I could see that. But the, you, no denying the golden just his own thing you know what's interesting is is do you think Arthur? well like did so did arthur adams get the very stylized um i call it um like kind of comic book generic lighting but you know it's where where you like you have shapes that you use to like show a thigh has got like light on it and j scott campbell kind of got it from art um did, yeah. did, who do you think golden got that from like kirby uh, old i don't think kirby ever did anything like that i think golden okay really was one of the first to ever do it you know what i okay. mean just to out of out of a necessity to figure it out he said okay i need light here to show yeah that this has volume or this is a texture and he said oh this works you yeah. know what i mean i'm talking about this kind of stuff for the people in the chat is like the way that they the way that you see people light um costumes you know with these um generally it's like you know something's highlighted here and here yeah, you see, J. Scott Campbell, I think, makes it very apparent. Um, yeah. Although I don't, I don't think that J Jeff definitely gets it from um, Michael Golden. But I mean, there's definitely this thing that he does that he wants you to know that there's different textures on given character and suits and all this other kind of stuff. It's not the same, you know, type of you know line work for everything. Like some artists out there that do that type of stuff that have a have a look that they vomit their their technique over everything like the same stuff is on wood that's on something that's right. leather something you know you're just like sheesh <laughs> yeah see now it's funny that you point that out because honestly as someone that's that came up through comics as an inker i've always found that incredibly important and and i not to point fingers other directions but a, a lot of people a lot of inkers don't don't do that it's very weird to me yeah i had the opportunity to own this man bat thing i was gonna I ask you, you I've, I've never seen this piece before it's great yeah so you and get an opportunity out. how much how much were they asking for it i think at the time it was under a grand <laughs> uh, that's still, no, but that's so expensive if you don't have that kind of money yeah i did but that's the thing i passed up on it for no good reason uh, and i wanted so to come back to get it the same thing happened with um you know that kevin nolan uh uh story with man bat yeah yeah i i had an opportunity to buy a couple of pages of that for like 400 dollars each and I said, oh, I'll come back tomorrow. Of course, it was gone. You know? Yeah. You're like, <laughs> you know, damn it. Things you're like, I I, regret. Me, yeah, you're like, let me go back to my table. I need to do a commission. I'll pick them up tomorrow. Uh -huh. <laughs> I haven't seen these either. They're okay. Like, I mean, they're they're nice covers, but. Um... Stop talking about me. What are y'all talking yeah. about? <laughs> okay. Kelsey Hish. Everyone be cool. <laughs> All right. Look at this. We were talking. I was. I was asking David about. Um. The, like this is not a an older piece, but I kind of feel like Michael Golden sort of um was one of the first people to do the comic book um costume lighting that like Arthur oh, yeah. Adams and J. Scott Campbell and stuff. You know, he's a master of light. He can do like I think there's one 
image that has like five different light sources on it or something like <laughs> is like bounce light uh, secondary light you know yeah. main source light uh, you know all hitting this figure <laughs> look at the colors on the face kelsey look at the like the the way that he drew, drew with the color yeah that's total kelsey color right there right i'm telling you i'm i've aped him for years he's been my secret weapon and i've but i've told everybody but i don't think they really understood because <laughs> look at it it's i mean uh, without ripping it off i basically ripped off his color style <laughs> so basically what we discovered on super fun sunday with kelsey is that that every artist that we've spotlit is kelsey's secret stash that he steals from john buscema <laughs> yeah well it's funny because it's it's the it's the secret stash that we all, all no, I know, I know. It's, like, it's like frazetta it's like check john buscema check michael golden check i don't even yeah. remember ones we've done little mcfarlane a little bit of uh Jack. you know there's a little bit of all of that in, in all of us you know we've all been kind of inspired by all of this stuff and what's funny is like we we get to loving guys like art adams who is inspired by you know golden and others uh and so it's fun going to the source but i'm no less not i'm no less inspired by art adams I mean, uh, so he brings a whole other flavor to it that that I really guns, love. Even though they're blurred, these guns are still amazing. <laughs> God, that blurring, man. What is up with that? I hope he's out of that phase for good. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what he's up to, David? Have you seen any Golden lately? Uh, No. Uh, I think he's supposed to be doing some shows here pretty soon. I think he did a couple oh. of shows or in stores. Um, oh, okay. But I don't know what specific comic book work he's doing. I don't, I don't know if he's even pursuing any of that. Probably kind of not stuff. right now. Yeah. This feels, this feels very Jason Pearson. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pearson feels like him. <laughs> no, no, that's what I, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Sorry. It sounded, sounded like the other, but that's what I meant. There, yeah. there's a, um, this, this piece came after when I was talking about the, the Spartan X, there was a two issue mini series that was advertised right after the first one. Yeah. And it had Jackie on the front of a bullet train, just oh. like this. And that never did come out. Oh, wait, what is this? Show, uh, this is Nightwing. No, no, no. Show what David, what is he looking at here? Oh, okay. Hold on. Should I, um, hold on. Let yeah. me get the stream yard. Is this some uh, original art here? I'm going to share the screen. Hold on. Let me, um, I have to remove this. Oh, oh yeah! Look at that! You got a sketch from the man. Let me. Uh, uh, what's going on? The little solo button. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Someday you'll get it. Oh, <laughs> you don't know yeah. What does it say? Thanks, Macho. Mucho. <laughs> Mucho. Macho. But, but then he he did this for me. You guys. Oh, just, wow. He drew that in your book. Yeah. It looks like a it looks like a page from the book. What do yeah. I know? <laughs> That's all his sketches look like that. And he doesn't really pencil those, does he? He goes straight to ink. Yeah, straight to Sharpie. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh my god. Is that insane or what? I Dude, mean that is such a great sketch. Holy shit. Everybody gives credit to Jung G and he's great, but Michael Golden just he could do that in his sleep too. I, I mean that, I need that book, man. I don't have that. It's making me sad. And I think mad. I got that. I got that too. Yeah. Yours looks like a hardcover. Yeah, I got a hardcover. Oh, there two? oh there's two. Oh, I got it too. Oh, yeah. Come on. You guys are killing me. <laughs> Seriously. This is this is turning into super sad Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm jealous of the size of your table. I know. I know. And it's a big light table, it looks like, isn't it? I know. It? Uh, oh. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I want that table so bad. He's got red curtains. We're red curtain bros. What are you working on? What's this? Yeah, so it's some art. Oh, nice. uh, that's all right. Colossus. Like stuff. <laughs> Come on, it's Colossus. I know. I was always a sucker for Colossus back in the day. When I was a kid, he was my fave. That metal. I think the first time I saw that was like a Cockrum drawing too. Because he's like, did all that metal. Yeah, it looked good. Okay, so let's get back into full screen rich mode. Yeah, full screen rich. Okay, let me uh Okay, I think I'm in full screen. Let me go. All right. So is this full is this look right to you on your end? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Okay, let's keep going. Look at this. This is nice. Yeah, Hans Roger says great action. That is one of the the sort of key components of great Michael Golden work is his ability to illustrate action. And not, I mean, without speed lines or all the other affectation that make it look, I mean, he captures the moment of action in like a still image. And it's just brilliant. You know, he uses speed lines too. But if you look, he uses all the elements of the piece to create the speed lines and you're not even aware of it, you know. He has, I can see. I see a little bit of Kevin Nolan in some of these um, guys down here. I mean, uh, sure. like that maybe Kevin Nolan might be a little influenced by Golden. Yeah, probably. For sure, for sure. But he My has the thing, he has the thing that other comic book artists don't do anymore. He tells a story with one image. Yeah. Kind of like, like a Rockwell, but he's a comic book artist. Right. Yeah. Quick question: The when you do a perspective shot like this, this building in the background is out of perspective, right? We should be seeing the underplanes of this more. All like, of the buildings are out of perspective. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay, he eyeballs it, but it still works yeah. in your in your mind. Yeah, because we don't and, we don't ne necessarily look at things in perspective in a way right. and try to you know oh this looks off or you know. It's, it's, yeah. it's the image, it's the story. It's, is it telling what it's supposed to tell? And, this well, is... and it gives it life too. It gives it a, yeah. a naturalness. It gives it an energy. Uh, is this, I wonder if this is the only time he's ever used a photo, an actual photo in his stuff. Cause like right. he's not, he's not fooling anybody. I know that's a posterized effect on a photo right. <laughs> in the yeah. background. Yeah. It's kind of weird. It was like, cause it's like a straight on shot. That's just not, man, the bottom Look of this, this, it, like this is so like this yeah. is an extreme fish angle lens yeah fish eye lens look at that oh nobody nobody could do this except nobody me. nobody <laughs> go ahead try i dare you that's high praise man when 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 kelsey when kelsey and david are saying shit like that then you know it's accurate uh henry uh i can't I'm, I'm, my my vision is getting so bad uh henry Jarmek, uh, Kelsey, check out X Men Companion Number One, X Men versus Sentinels. Michael Golden Colossus in there. Mm. Oh my gosh! This I think I know so what you're good. talking about. Huh? I, I said this is so good. This bottom, like I've seen this cover a million times, but when you see it on the comic book, all this stuff is kind of obscured, and you don't really realize how much work went into all this stuff down below. See this? It's guys there's like cars. there's cars here. Oh yeah, I seen that before. There's like there's. There's trash cans, there's pipes. But there's, there's cars on a freaking bridge in the corner where the Nisha yeah. thing goes or whatever. No, he, he's, he's having a story in his head and oh, he's yeah. so into his art. You know he has to be going, I'm a bad mother. You know yeah, I mean? you know he'd... <laughs> There's more cars down here. I didn't even notice this. There's a street down here. Yeah. Dude. I, I've actually seen some, There's there's a lot of unpublished stuff and it, you know, if you've been in the industry long enough, you meet people that have like copies and stuff. And and uh, somebody I know, I'm not even going to say who, because it, it's this is kind of a taboo thing. But you you don't talk about this thing because he's very sensitive about this stuff. But there is an unfinished, e even beyond the one that we saw, uh, Birds of Prey. Uh, there's a couple pages from one that he was writing, mm -hmm. and I got to see some pencils of that. And it's absolutely insane. But just my saying this is breaking a rule. <laughs> I shouldn't have actually seen it. The Illuminati is actually coming to your house right now to put a bullet in your head. Yeah, it, it's no joke. If you if you want to be if you want to be in his good graces, <laughs> there's some artists like this. If you want to be in their good graces and have access to these kinds of things, then you can't break the rules. So I'm gonna have to edit that out when I. <laughs> Uh, the statute of limitations is over at this right. point. <laughs> well, it's like I have I have um, photocopies of all the Jason Pearson Redbird story that he had started that never got published, or they're oh, yeah. facts. I think of it, but um, I have copies of them somewhere. I find them occasionally. Oh, them. I haven't even seen that. Yeah, the Redbird stuff. Well, oh, I'm not okay. as scared of Jason Pearson as I am the Michael Golden. No. <laughs> what's funny? What's funny is like I I remember when back in the day I was I used to call up guys in studios and I'd 
just ring every extension in there until I got somebody. Uh, right. Same as I did with Wildstorm when Rich right. was there. Yeah. But uh, like I got I got Pearson one day, and oh. I was like, "Oh, Jason, oh man, I love your stuff and all this stuff." And I was like, "I heard you're a gold a Golden fan." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah." And I was like, "I was like, oh, you know," I started asking him Golden questions, and he was like, "Yeah, he's like me. He doesn't want to like." He doesn't believe in like hero worship or talking about the the techniques and stuff like. That. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll let you go. He's like, no, what you want, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so he does want to talk about. It. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> so this was kind of interesting. Is when I was trying to break in, um, I had a friend that was a professional, Mike Christian. I always give him a shout out because I, I appreciate that he took the time to like help me get photocopies and stuff to work on. But uh, he told me, he said, look, he goes, if you want to get an honest review of your stuff, like a critique. He goes, you show it to Jason Pearson. I, and he goes, and that guy will tell you what's up. And I, for two days, I tried to build up the nerve to go show this guy my stuff at Comic-Con. And the whole, like, the, I, the show, they were all dressed like pimps. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> and, and, uh, so I, I walk up to Jason on, like, a Saturday, like an artist alley, and he's got, like, a purple pimp suit on. And yeah. I'm like, uh, could you take a look at my inks? And I was just ready to get my <laughs> fucking like head ripped off. He was he was genuinely nice and gave me some decent feedback, though. Um, you know, like like crit criticism, cr critical feedback. But um, but it was funny. But I was so scared of him. <laughs> I think Gaijin used to do that every year at uh, at the Atlanta one, right? At Dragon Con, they dress yeah, up. At Dragon Con and at San Diego, Every, the Sunday of the of the convention, they would dress up. Okay, yeah. so, so it's a Sunday. So maybe I spent four days trying to build up the nerve to show my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember, like the first day, like he wasn't in his table, but I kept like circling, you know, like a. It's like I got to show this guy my stuff. Come on, Rich, you can do this. Don't be a. Pussy. <laughs> Uh, he could be intense, but he he lo he'll love to talk about this stuff. So yeah, please, you know, definitely if you know, start talking some golden, he'll open up. I mean, he's yeah. like us. <laughs> He'd get mad cool. if I would criticize his work, though. He had a thing. oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it's been> <laughs> I love yeah. the way that the shadow oh, yeah. looks on like these skulls and stuff. Oh my gosh! Look so at the masks at the top. You can see in a, a, some of secondary lighting. There's like this purple. Yeah, lighting yeah. in the uh shadows. Yeah, yeah. So, so good. I always wished like a cosplay fan would make all of those masks. You oh know, yeah, like, that would just be cool to see. Yeah, um, we're we're missing. There's another thing he did around this era, which was a man bat, a uh, little short story. Oh, that's really good. We have the cover of a man bat comic when you were gone. Oh, okay, yeah. This almost has a McFarlane kind of vibe a little bit to me. How dare yeah, you? <laughs> <laughs> McFarlane is is very influenced by Golden, yeah. right? Like he's yeah. didn't he say like he's like I, I'm gonna do Golden, but I'm gonna do him monthly, you know? <laughs> and, they, they would, McFarlane would get the credit for that weird squiggly web thing, but uh, Golden oh, did right. it first. Yeah, Golden. Golden. We've talked about that in a video before, like who originated the um, spaghetti webbing? Yeah, that was all. Golden's like the Simpsons. Golden did it, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm, I created a cool new rendering style. Now nah, Golden did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, look at that! So great. I just the, I just can't get over like the thoroughness. Just the hair of Robin alone. Yeah. It's like that would take me all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it probably took him all day, but you know he don't care. I, you know, it's it's it like one of your drawings that Robin. That looks like something you would do. It's so yeah. I, I've said that to Kelsey on a bunch of videos. Like I'll see panels and stuff like that, and I'll go, "This kind of looks like your stuff." Yeah, oh, yeah, it's it's pretty obvious. I don't hide the fact though. Like he's, yeah. you know, uh, it's funny because like I have a lot of influences. I'm sure we we all do, but he's the one kind of constant, you know, that's that's all always inspiring me and i'm like oh yeah yeah let me do a little bit of this you know like oh yeah let me let me show some more of this building oh oh uh golden would put some architectural details on this let me do that you know? <laughs> yeah yeah i need a ww uh mg oh, uh wristband this is great look at this guy getting knocked or guy or girl getting knocked upside down god dang Oh yeah, this is this is intense. Is um, I'm I'm getting a, a small sense of Will Eisner and Michael Golden stuff. Is is he an Eisner? Sure, sure, I can see okay. that. Okay, 
Yeah. Do you know of any of his influences? Like, if, you know, he's one of those guys that like, oh, you'd go up to him and go, oh, you must like this. You must like that. And he'd right. be like, no, actually, I love Herb Trimpey or something right. like that. Right, you right, know right, right, right. what? Yeah. <laughs> I had this conversation with Golden about drawing because I'm looking at this cover, but it goes back to the nom about how he would draw black people and stuff like that, mm-hmm. where some people would take offense to how he would exaggerate. And I right. complimented him on it to actually show black people looking like black people, Asians looking like Asians and not being afraid of some of the, you know, so-called stereotypes and, and milk toasting everyone else. And I was saying, you know, there's other artists that wouldn't make, you know, black people look like black people and they would just be colored white people. And he said, yeah, the first thing that came out of his mouth, he says, cause they're cowards. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Hey, don't, 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 don't leave this piece just yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah no problem. I love problem. this guy. <laughs> yeah. That, that is a baller answer right there. I love yeah. that. You know, but he's a caricaturist. I mean, he caricatures yeah. everyone. Exactly. Like when you see, when you see a hillbilly in Nam, he looks like a slack jawed, skinny old redneck, you know, chewing on tobacco. Equal opportunist. You know, he gives it all just like, this is what, this is how I see it. And this is how it is. You know, <laughs> yeah, those people are cowards. I love it. I want that on a shirt. Right. <laughs> those people are cowards, Michael Golden. <laughs> I, I, I am spotting a wicked tangent here. Can you guys see it? Let's see. Hold on. Where was it? It's right. You go to your left a little bit. It's too, okay. it's too now small. Go. Oh yeah. Zoom in. Okay. Zoom into the hand on the cape. Oh, oh yeah, right there. I see. It. it is a wicked tangent, and I can't yeah. believe he did that. That's very ungolden. <laughs> he'll, argue but, you know. his way, he'll argue his way out of it. <laughs> I, I'll argue it for him. He didn't want to break the line of action on yes, the cake. There you go. That's right. Yeah. I love yeah. this piece more than life itself. It's so fucking cool. This is one of this is so cool because it shows like the, an enclosed space it, it gives depth to the cover you know you feel like you there's depth to it you can like walk into this well you wonder how like how many floors is batman gonna drop down like, yeah just, exactly. as exactly. many as it takes yeah <laughs> but a lot of people well, would write this cover off and think that it's not good look, or, this know, is the, this is the fifth right. floor 5a 5a that's interesting yeah. whoa oh, man but he 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 fell down twenty stories though. That's yeah. <laughs> that's what's so great. You can read into this whole story Guys. just on the cover. In fact, I I mean I don't know if this is true, but I've heard that they've actually redone stories based on his cover image. Oh, is that true? Like told the story of the cover kind of thing. Well, like possibly. when you get, go ahead. I said very possibly. Yeah, when you get this cover in, you you got to be like, this is a way cooler story than what we're doing. You know, <laughs> how can how can we incorporate this into there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, but you um, know, Golden's one of those guys that's probably very thorough. You know, he's reading the script, he's taking you know the perfect moment. But I don't know if this or if these are story specific. I think that they're just like do cool Batman pieces. Yeah, they were. Like, they, they yeah. Weren't. This is I I like this is probably my favorite favorite Batman cover of all time. But you're gonna hear me say that on like four of these. Uh-huh. I, I'm kind of like I regret having ripped covers off, and like I I don't recommend that to anybody else because now I'm learning my love for Jim Aparo. So right. and I'm like now, oh, damn it! I wish I had those books. I know. <laughs> I did the same thing. It was just you know we were young and we yeah. were about art i mean you know we were we were hundreds of thousands of miles apart but it's like i dude i'm telling you your folder looked exactly like mine except yeah. that i have a few pieces you don't and vice versa but i mean i did the same thing i i, I mean i mean this is just unreal i mean the uh, was this uh, okay is this a post 89 batman is this post um who's the art director of the 89 batman um a- anton first yeah he anton he left a mark anton that what did you say anton head first yeah <laughs> he he's he left an indelible mark on on batman with the design of gotham city and yeah. i'm i'm curious if this is post that because it does have a very much 
Anton first kind of just massive scale to the city. And that old that old world meets kind of like new. Yeah. yeah. It's That's interesting. So like, do, do you guys like it when Gotham looks just like a regular city? No, no, I don't either. I, I don't like that. No, that's I, I that's go ahead. You first. Movies should go back and look at these golden covers before they do their movies and say, okay, yeah. do this, you know. <laughs> well, I, I just saw uh Suicide Squad, uh, the new one, and I'm gonna watch it tonight. I really, I really enjoyed it, and it's very, very comic book, and it proves that you can do some of these sillier kind of ideas, you can do costumes and bright colors and wacky characters and have it work so i mean hopefully if uh, comic book movies are probably run its course at this point but you know that would have been such a great way to go with the dc universe just embrace the the weird you know and the fun and the color and the you know but i david's a, a david loves uh uh what's his name snyder snyder's version but or well Oh, I know. I haven't gotten to talk to you about that. We'll have to do that for another one because I, I want to talk to you about it. Your... We, we definitely want to have David on just as a guest where we're yeah. going to talk about David's art. We'll talk about art that David likes and stuff the like Snyder that. Cut. The Snyder Cut. David's the original <laughs> Snyder Cut uh, advocate. <laughs> That's right. So anyway, yeah, this is this is like b before like, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is post 89. Oh, yes, that says 91. Yep. Oh, did it? Okay. It says February ninety one, so this is post eighty nine Batman. This has to be inspired by that. This, I can just this, this piece alone lets you know the environment that Batman always needs to be in. He needs yeah. to be in a claustrophobic, really high buildings from where he could jump from building to building and all this. Right, stuff. right, right. right. And this but also, I mean, the scale of this too, and the and the distance that he's dropping. Yeah, it makes you like, holy cow! He's just i mean he's fallen like 50 stories or more that's a really good point that you 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 guys made though is is if you literally just look at all of this architecture it looks like a man could crawl around and kind of yeah. get from platform to platform window mm -hmm. to window and with a little bit of superhero building not like where you can fly like you know spider-man kind of thing um but uh yeah, this looks like you can navigate it and actually crawl around on shit and do Batman stuff. And you you could see a guy dressed like this hiding as a gargoyle on the edge right. of a building and blending exactly. right in. Yeah, that's pretty genius, man. Seriously, you could just imagine Batman bringing people up to fight him on his terrain, not going. Yeah, to right. Yeah, like this building right here by the Mar Marv Wolfman signature. God, it just looks like man something could these doors could open on this ledge right here and just all of a sudden there's like a fight on this balcony yeah so yeah. Good. let's continue friends we've got all kinds of good stuff we'll skip this one it's a little simple okay so look at this yeah dr strange so black and white, off black and white. Kelsey, what's this this is zipatone <laughs> kelsey was asking me yesterday about zipatone yeah i know you got you're hoarding some no, I, I told you I'll scan it all for you. <laughs> I'm not. Lying. You know I'm generous with you. Yeah, I want. I want it. I want it now. <laughs> I, was the only, I was the only child. I've got mental hangups from that. <laughs> yeah, the the zip man. I I mean, I wish I had gotten a whole bunch of it. Uh, you could probably still find it from Japan. Yeah, uh, being, but being 100 honest, I have all three of the zipatones on this. Somewhere I have this. No kidding. I have this and I have this one, which looks like gravel. I definitely have all three of those. I wow. love. There's one that uh, Mark Schultz uses a lot. That's called Sand. That Sand. I love too. Yeah, it's a real natural. It kind of looks like the one on the building right there. Actually, right, stuff. yeah, like it's like yeah. a simple, but it's got like some squigglers. Yeah, it's just a very natural. What? You guys remember Duotone board where you would yeah apply the. I, yeah. I know what that is. I've never seen it in person. I've never ever used it. It's like you put a chemical on it or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's expensive. Yeah, I'm not sure if that came through in the audio, but there's a David's talking about a, a paper called Duotone, and there's two different chemicals. And when you put one chemical on it, it makes a set of lines uh, that go diagonal in one way. And then when you put the other chemical on it, it develops the lines going the other way. So when you do both, 
it has a crisscross pattern. So what people have really you, done some thorough stuff with that. What you, know what the, you, know what that you know what the problem was with that duotone board? Gives you it, cancer. It was. <laughs> 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 if you left it out in the sunlight, all of the stuff would just appear and it would ruin your line work. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no hanging those up on the wall, that original nope. art. Nope. <laughs> Hillary Barta used to use that expertly. I used to love his stuff when he would do that. I think Tim Bradstreet used it on yeah. his early pieces, like the vampire illustrations. Frank Miller's used a bunch. Um, yeah. You know, oh, the original Ninja Turtles is like liberally uses that in the first couple of issues. Man, look at the all that oh, technology sorry. on that. That was crazy. Look at this Marvel fanfare black and white version of the cover. Oh, this is the Spider. Yeah, this is the Kazar one. Yeah, this is the first one he did. Kazar hey, Spider Man. Where are you getting all this black and white stuff? This is awesome. Heritage, Heritage Auctions. Heritage oh, Auctions. And then you just go to the completed auctions. Oh, okay. oh, this is this is old school Michael Golden because you can look at his signature. It's just the old G. Yeah, he doesn't even have it like in perspective. <laughs> yeah. Nor normally, not even well. Yeah, it's not even well hidden. Yeah, right, this is slack golden right here. Man. Well, it's interesting. This is like cut onto the um piece. Do you see this? This is like like something. Either the one part of this has been pasted down. Oh wow! Look at the arm. Uh no, it goes. Oh, it's this whole yeah. background thing. It goes all the way wow. around the top. Wow. Maybe, yeah. What the hell? They had something That's back weird. there. Yeah, you don't see that often. Well, and no. I noticed it over here too. If you look, you can see the cutouts around this. I often wonder if, because there's times where I've gotten deep into a piece and then completely messed up some inking and then just had to start all over because I didn't want to have a bunch of whiteout or cutouts. Right. Uh, oh, look, there's another one. Yeah, it's the whole back piece almost. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think on the original, he was drawing a whole bunch of penises, and Marvel said, no, <laughs> we don't we don't want that on this. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, but you deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> like, yeah. <laughs> I, I always, it's like when you say the plural of vinyl, it's just vinyl, like vinyl records. And so is I'm it peni? Is yeah, it... yeah. Is, is multiple penises penises or peni? Pen <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've always wondered that because I know people get mad if you call vinyl vinyls. It's most multiple peen. <laughs> All my vinyls. I have many vinyls. <laughs> now this, oh, is, this is earlier golden. This is a little like his drawings are not as. This has got like yeah. a plug vibe or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave Johnson did a, a kind of a homage to this piece that i got to color um oh, that was a lot of fun yeah the so it's fan my six of degrees of uh michael, michael golden yeah. what i i guess this is the first issue of marvel fanfare yeah yeah M great series by the way if you can find issues of that almost every one of them is is just great his anatomy is a little bit more uh bubbly yeah <laughs> Less I kind of like this. I have a I have a, a soft spot for older golden because of that. Uh, we've it's lost like, so much of our organic quality in our art. You know, is this also maybe inspired by like Von Bode, Bode or whatever it is? No, I don't. Think so. No, okay. No, it looks <laughs> plug. It looks like yeah. plug and and um, little Bernie Wrightson maybe. I was noticing yeah. some Wrightson. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I was funny. I didn't say it because I was like, people are going to think you're nuts, Rich. Don't even go there. They'll take well, you. Von Bode, you're, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know Vaughn worked that well. So I, when I think of Plug, I always think of Vaughn. Well, the, I mean, it's kind of hard to say that Golden uh, is inspired by uh, by Wrightson or if Wrightson is inspired by Golden because they're contemporaries. But there is no doubt visual cues that show that one is and want, they're they're looking at each other i mean right. well, well, or, they're, or they're being drawn they're drawn from the same pool of influences yeah because this stuff in the bottom too has got a little bit of a rights and vibe yeah something in the water at that time yeah. oh look at right. this right right oh What's my this god all about? micronauts crazy right this is late period stuff though isn't it um this is like probably like 2000s yeah. yeah 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 it was like his return yeah, he took Jack Kirby and made it like crazy. Yeah. 
He said, I got your Jack Kirby ready. <laughs> He's like, Jack Kirby, pull my beer. Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely, I mean, undeniable Golden in, or uh, uh, Kirby influence to Golden as well. I mean, uh, Golden, Toph. Um, uh, Toph? It's Toth. To Toth. I say Toth. Toth. Alex, Alex Toth. I don't know. It goes both ways. That's guy. <laughs> He's named Fluid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is like one of those pieces where you have to find Golden's signature. Oh, no, it's right here. You find it? Where? Well, it's it's right here on the gear, but it's it's actually kind of easy to spot over uh, here. Does it have uh, does it have the word Nina in there somewhere? Right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he actually wrote it, Michael Gold. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like it's a little M different than what he normally does. M Gold. Yeah. All right, let's continue. I've got a lot more files to open. Oh, that is, that's another thing that kind of shows that it's late period because he signs all his uh, sketches. With I think this, this is Duo Shade right here. Is this? Yeah. Duo Shade, yeah. 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 That's it. He's so, using he's using it very minimally. Now yeah. the whole paper, like now the whole paper has that effect on it. Like if he put the chemicals yeah. elsewhere, it would have done it. Wow, it's yeah. nuts. Yeah. I I honestly think he's cutting that out and putting that on regular oh. paper. Look at that, because you could see the the color of it is different than the rest of the page. Oh, you can. It's right here. I can see the seam. Oh, okay. Yeah, see that's smart right there because you so you're gonna save the rest of the piece when there's here's the piece right here. That looks like traditional zip. Yeah, right oh, there. It, it, and it just discolored. So, and then the piece uh on yeah, the globe yeah. looks like just a bit, you know, of uh duotone. Well, this could be zip too though, actually. Just cut out and it has to be all zip because oh that's yeah. true. Yeah, it is zip because look at his um his line work is creating the illusion of the of the duotone. Yeah, so this was funny. I pointed this out on the last video. I did I did a video on Golden about two years ago. It doesn't even seem that long ago. But I said, oh, this reminds me of Arthur Adams. And then people yep. thought, I was, they, well, they thought I was projecting. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's... That yeah. section right there, if you just clip that out. I know, that's what I'm saying. Arthur Adams. Yeah. Whoever it was in the comments section, you owe me an apology. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like here he, goes rich with his comparisons again no. <laughs> and this again has a little bit of a oh sorry has a little bit of a rights and vibe to me oh god damn it uh, right it. yeah a little bit the fingers yeah yeah because he does some great hands yeah he's the guy who made me look at how to do hands and i started ripping him off because i used to like arthur adams but seeing how Michael Golden had much more variety because hands are actors yeah. well in the piece. And if you get those right, then to me, you know, you're you're a good artist, you know, because you're paying attention to those small things that people take for granted and stuff. See, for me, it was it was uh, um, the first time I really took note of like hands was um, uh, was Wrightson because like. In like uh, some of the stories, he'll have these like hands that are just doing this yeah. intense like, and you can no. see the knuckles and the yeah. veins. And stuff. Oh my god! I, I want to point out one thing for people that are aspiring artists here. That's really interesting. If you look at the detail right here that Michael Golden put, and this is really important. That's not white out. Well, no, I know um, the, yeah. the white area. Sorry, um, but no, but no, no. Yeah. When people talk about hair and stuff like this. I want to show something. Okay, look at this. This whole piece is on a curve or linear shape. It's not, mm -hmm. he didn't go in and do flat patterns that are all straight up and down. This yeah. whole area has been bent like a map, like this. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and so the thing is, is that this technique, although you can look at it as just kind of straight up and down, everything is being pulled these yeah. ways, and it makes it look so much cooler. Yep. But it's, oh, it's hey. subtle. Jasper Plan 9 says Steve Rude makes his own zipatone. Someone who has access uh to his Patreon and he's asked for a video tutorial. He keeps a photocopier in his studio. That's interesting. Well, that's why I was telling you that we could do that's why I saved all that zipatone. That was exactly what I said. Is the reason that I, I have this stash of zipatone that is unused oh, is God. I knew at some point I would want it and wouldn't be able to purchase it because it was obvious where things were going. Um, this this period is my jam. This is like '90s era golden. 
and it's just so thorough, man. Look at those buildings. <laughs> you could just make out the street, you know, how the, the street is lit up. Yeah, well, there's cars on it. Yeah. Man, the detail. This stuff, this stuff would make me cry. Oh, my God. It would literally take me a month to do this. this. Adam Hughes kind of does stuff like this. Um, not as much now, but but um, definitely. His buildings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... It, I, I really loved when he started doing that more with his like Catwoman covers and stuff like that. Again, yeah. that's another influence from Golden. It's just it's endless, endless. We were talking about Chris Bacallo earlier, yeah. influenced by uh, Golden. Uh, uh, Kelly Jones, inked by Terry Beatty on Batman, very influenced by Golden. Yeah, it's wild, right? And one of the thing is, is then there's all the people that are influenced by those other artists that, that don't realize that they're they're pulling from Golden. This yeah. is a little pixely. I can't really zoom in on this one. It's going to fall apart. But um, yeah, this is from an early print set, I think. Um, I'm not sure this was actually a cover, was it? I, I found I found this one this morning. We'll skip it. I, I probably have a better scan of that other piece. But this yeah. face is funny. But this feels McFarlane-ish, too. This, to me, looks like early McFarlane. <laughs> it does. <laughs> what was that book you did for DC? Legionnaires or something? Oh Something gosh, like yeah, I don't remember. He didn't do Legionnaires. Well, I was uh, not Legionnaires, but the er, er, early. Uh, I know what you're talking about. It's Alien, not Alien Legion. The alien Legion. No, it, no. It has Alien in it and Legion. I know what you're talking about. It's not Alien Legion. The Alien the, Invasion. Yeah, maybe Invasion I, Legion of Chat yeah. knows. Uh, Chuck Arnold says Infinity Incorporated. Oh, that's okay. right. Infinity yeah. yeah, there we go. Moxnick's got it too. Yeah, 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 thank you guys. We appreciate it. Chat's brilliant. I love chat. We're old. We don't <laughs> okay, we That is such a kooky, like, uh, I love that that's hero on the far left. Oh, you already got rid of it. Sorry, yeah, that had, that had like the crazy cape thing with guns on it. I'm like, <laughs> Here, it Here comes more, babies. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, there's a few that might be redundant in this folder, but trust me, there's going to be some money. He Mar did a, he did a in a in Marvel in the Marvel black and white stuff, you know, ripping <laughs> yeah. off Batman black and white. Marvel had to get in on it too. Uh, Golden did a black and white short story of uh, Doctor Strange that's pretty kickass. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so this is holy moly, got a bunch. Some of, these, some of these we looked at, so this is an interesting piece, but not a very high res scan. Yeah, that's a cover of of one of his art books that I got. Yeah. This is got the shaken the um uh what do you call it uh, vibe. The thing is, is that I guarantee he hand he hand drew all that background. That's crazy. You know, I mean, that looks like a paste up, like uh. uh I wonder Chris if there's a secret message in there. Oh, maybe he does that kind of stuff. So yeah, <laughs> uh, like Bacallo would he plays around with that kind of stuff where he'll print out like patterns right. and paste them on the into the uh, uh, the backgrounds and stuff. But like I, I just feel like Michael Golden probably drew that. What do you think? If he filled in the blacks on stuff like that, I mean, I know I know he's done enough pieces like this that it's possible. I don't understand how someone can have the patience to fill in all these black areas. It would drive me crazy. Well, that's a that's another thing too. Like if you look, he has this white outline around all his figures, so that you know, and a lot of guys have have done that as well. Have picked that up, and they'll just do this solid white line around it. But when you look at his originals, or you look at like prints uh, up close, you see that he just didn't ink that. Right. So that's very meticulously inked, this little yeah. outline around everything. And there's no white out there. That print on the on the clothing yeah. okay, we saw these. Oh, is just meticulously inked. It's not white out. Here's your uh, black and whites of the G.I. Joe uh, tires. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is the portfolio that IDW released of the GI Joe annual. Is that or is that what called yearbook annual? Yearbook, yeah. Yearbook, yeah. I got to get a copy of that. I went right after you showed that off, and it was already so cool, man. Look at this sold out. Yeah, it's all caddy wampus, you know. But it's so good. <laughs> it feels like it's all wobbling around in there, you know. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. That's a good point. Yeah, like each like like they're not so lined up. This is great too, man. Alive. I feel this, like man. This might be my favorite 
uh gosh I, it's hard to say that because they're all my favorite but i i love the energy in this and and the organic quality like i got into like stealth freeze and a lot of like uh, guys that have a hard design edge to it so i have a lot of that but lately i've been looking at like old school adam hughes and like oh, this stuff old school this and like you know disney uh uh what you know the italian disney stuff yeah. and there's there's this softness this richness of of and orga or organic shapes yes. that we don't have anymore. And I think that, I don't know. I think I want to bring some of that back. <laughs> That's man. This is so good. Yeah. The tires, everything has just movement to it. You can almost see like the parts of the vehicle rattling around like they do in like Japanese anime. What's interesting too is Michael Golden is this uh, as an artist that you can constantly rediscover throughout your own artistic journey. Journey, yeah. It's like it looks great when you first get it, and then when you start getting better, like three years later, you like see even more in it, and you know it just well, grows. like like this. I mean, you don't have to zoom it. You don't have to do me or nothing, but like this cover for like X Men. I mean, this is way late period, and it's like Photoshop color, but man it's a whole new thing so you can like do that generation you can go back to like the nam stuff it's a whole other feel you know there's there's lots of variety in in his body of work yeah yeah this is just this is just great i mean i i gotta get the uh the portfolio set of that so i can eyeball it for years <laughs> yeah i didn't realize it, it never gets old yeah, I mean, it's really surprising that it sold out to me because I thought it was one of those things that it maybe appealed to such a like niche kind of collector. Oh, this was the one with the fruit and the barrels. <laughs> yeah, that that one panel. Yeah, it's so funny. You should try to contact uh, uh, Renee um, to see if you yeah. have any for sale. Yeah, well, I'll have to do that. Yeah. Stuart, Stuart Ng, NG, might also have them. Yeah, yeah right his his bookstore he carries or, if, or he, he could track it down i'm sure if you could own one original michael golden piece what would it be man <laughs> just one Why you only get you one it's, it's almost impossible to say because <laughs> that one and then you find out that rich pick, picks this and you know that's the one i wanted right. <laughs> i want i want Here. the one that it would you probably know? be one of those detective covers for me, like the one yeah. that the pinky purple one with um, uh, Batman on that, like kind of sort of this shape building. Can I have yeah. just one issue? Like, right. can yeah. I have like the whole? Exactly. Can I have exactly. this entire issue? That adventure yeah. and annual looked real good yeah. when you were flipping through. Sure. I was, I was like, yeah, <laughs> I wish I saw this page. Yeah, right, let's, so uh, good. let's go to um some of the other scans that I have because these are nice, but um. We've got so much we can look at. Chuck Arnold says Avengers Annual uh, 10, page one. Yeah, oh, okay. I think in that one that we looked at, that was the, uh, was this that one. the one that has this one uh, here, right? Yeah, this one. Yeah, it's got Spider Woman uh, yeah, saving um, uh, Captain Marvel. Yeah. What's her face? Have you seen this cover, Kelsey? Conan the Barbarian 152. I have not. Okay. I have never seen that cover before. Girl, <laughs> see what I see what we're talking about? It's endless. You can constantly find new things. Golden is an artist like that where it's like you really you need to have a checklist and you just go through like the quarter the dollar boxes or whatever and just hunt for golden. I really like the organicness of this one. Look the, at that. Here, look, Michael Golden is an it's artist raw. In opinion that he almost doesn't need to sign his work. It's so clearly obvious when you see a golden piece that it's his. The the, the the rendering in this is so fast it's not it's not uh uh typical it, it, it's yeah. so funny it's almost like uh mcfarlane you know fastness of the but no not not as sloppy but yeah um yeah i don't that think i've ever seen this move if he does stuff like that and doesn't sign it like yeah. you know who did this <laughs> <laughs> David, 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 had you had, had you'd seen this cover before? Or no, no, I haven't. Yeah, it's well, weird. I, I found it on Heritage, so this was just a like a, a random find for me. Oh, okay. there, that's a bit of an anecdote with Golden in in his signature is that he doesn't. Uh, sometimes he doesn't sign it, 
And the reason why he hides his signature is because of product uh, artwork. And he's done years and years of of stuff that you can't have your, like if you drew a cereal box, you right. can't have your signature on it. So he learned how to hide it or just yeah. not do it. Look, yeah. his signature is right there on the computer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of the fun of Golden too. Is that he? There's so many things to look for, and trying to find his signature is part of the fun. It you is. It, well, when when once you're told that he hides his signature, it's it is. It's like you enjoy the piece, but you're already kind of like going like, hmm, where do you sneak it in? I still do that to this day, even when I know where it's at. Oh, I'm I like, okay, this. where is it at? There is, it is. I think this That's is why I was saying, like find the Ninas, like he's like Al Hirschfeld or something. Right. Yeah. I think, I think McFarlane actually does that too. He probably took that from Golden. He hides like something. I think his wife's name or Wanda. or what? Yeah, he does. No, I think he actually puts like a toy. There's something in there. I can't remember what it is. The, the he does ladybugs, Felix the cat, and I think Wanda's name. Here, real quick, you got a, a super chat. Jasper Plan Nine for four ninety nine. Please Thank make you. this a marathon video. The pacing is good and content is solid. It'll get a lot of rewatches. Say hi to my son, Henry Ramon. Hey, Henry. What's up, Henry? How are you? And thank you, Jasper and I. We appreciate it. So I, I was trying to say, I think that Mignola did the interiors on this book, too. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's not only do you get a Michael Golden cover if you ever pick this up, but it's uh, early Mike Mignola. Um, I, I nearly share pencils inside. You have God, a great love... Sema corner drawing of Michael golden and then mike mignola on it man that's a powerhouse book right there this let me see the corner drawing let me see you got it up on, on top yeah go up to the top corner oh, okay. i want to see the corner box oh yeah Classic. <laughs> so good that's a great poll we were actually there was a poll that went on probably earlier this year of who was because uh uh dale keown is hanging out now and uh we we did like a poll of like who did your favorite hulk Oh. And of course, Keon did my favorite because that was my generation sure. of comics. But Sal Buscema is up there. Uh, you know, I love me. I love McFarlane's Hulk. I love. Uh, what's your favorite Hulk? Uh, right. oh, yeah, ahead. both of you. Yeah, go ahead first, David. Uh, I like Kirby's because now Michael Golden does a Kirby version of Hulk. That's now. true. The real squared off, boxy, you know, six foot for hulk you know yeah that's true yeah that's what i like <laughs> yeah i love that too I what about have, you rich i have two answers this is a funny story so when i first started collecting comics i was really into the hulk and um i think it was right at the end of dale keown's run and uh i believe gary frank replaced him on it the, so so this is kind of funny the first the first time that i saw gary frank's first issue of the hulk I was like blown away. He does this like real handsome kind of pretty boy Hulk. But I'm going to go with Sal Buscema. I think Sal Buscema is my favorite Hulk because he's so, or Purvis, what's his name? Purvis? P U R V S. I think it's Purvis. Right? I, yeah, I, 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 I kind of like his Hulk too. Yeah. It's like weird, but um, I, I really do love the Hulk. Chuck I, Arnold I, uh, loves uh, the Burn Hulk. Henry uh, Jeremick Burn. There's a lot of Burn love here. Sal Buscema, Burn, Henry yeah, Jones. Another one. I love Burns She Hulk. That's my favorite She Hulk. I like I like when the Hulk wore the uh, mobster outfit. <laughs> <laughs> that's John. That's John Buscema. Yeah, yeah I love yeah, that stuff. Yeah. That Swanky. was in Wolverine. Yeah, yeah Frankie Hulk. <laughs> now, like, I mean, I was oh, look at this Rom cover in black and white. Oh man, yeah, Rom. That was a whole. He did. Now, a this bunch has of like those. a Gene Colan vibe to me, or something. Oh, that's a good point. Gene Colan. There is some Gene Colan in Golden. You think so? Like super clean gold. Yeah, like on that particular thing, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because like if you look at like once you once you learn to look at at Gene Colan, you see, you know, you see the brilliance. You know, it, it could be kind of hard, like when you especially like late period stuff when they just didn't even ink him. Like everybody was afraid to ink him. Yeah. You know, but like if you if you were to look at that stuff and clean it up in your head like give it that super polished inking yeah. you, you do end up with some goldenisms you know the, I, the I, lighting he does i could see mike mignola having some light bulbs go off if he saw this piece around this time yeah sure. maybe yeah. Not, not just because of the crypts and stuff like that but i i think that um 
you know, Mike talks real openly about like kind of having an identity crisis early in his career. Yeah. But, um, you know, really trying to ground it with things. But I could see something like this where he went, okay, if I start to pull out the detail and put these more, you know, like something's white and something's solid black, um, it helps. You know, I can't imagine that he wouldn't have liked this piece. Well, he kind of had some of the qualities of this stuff in his early work. You know, yeah. when you look at like Rocket Raccoon, it, it could yeah. be it could be golden. You know, in a way. The, the thing so about I think the way the way Michael Golden is influenced by other artists, like say Kirby or whatever. I don't think he has like Kirby books open and saying I'm going to do. No. Right? He just is literally a sponge and goes, oh, I get the general idea, and then he executes it. So right. this, is the tunnel, this is the Tunnel Rat story. Yeah, this is the one. He, he inked this one himself. You could tell it's just crisp. He Dude, just, just, talk about a tough job. Whew. But, like, we, you know, we know what it's like to work uh, even on 11 by 17 paper, which is huge when, you know, when you think about it. But when you're doing this on 11 by 17 you, yeah. you realize that even the details he's doing, he's he's it's so tiny. The detailing on the boots, the the clothing, uh, this just it's unreal. Uh, it would be unreal even seeing the original, you know, at full size. You'd be like, How do you do this? Look at this Wildcat source book. Oh, oh my god, yeah. He did two of these. I actually prefer the other one that's like uh really interesting. Yeah, there's there's another one, uh, but yeah, gosh man, I love this stuff. How do you put this together? I mean, you must, it must take a while just to plan it. So it's funny is um, I watched Michael, Michael Lopez go from um, almost like an illustrator to like when he saw this Michael Golden stuff, if you look at the voodoo zealot skin trade, yeah, yeah. You really, really see the Michael Golden influence start to um, creep into his stuff. Yeah. It ruined him. <laughs> 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 no, I, I love Michael Lopez. I, I wish he'd do a lot more stuff, but yeah. yeah, you could definitely see the golden influence, especially in that the later parts of that, yeah, that issue. Yeah. yeah. He was trying to figure out how to simplify his stuff, you know, cause it was taken, you know, yeah. Raw page. I wonder man. what Jim Lee thought when he saw this, was he like, man, I quit or like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know Jim. Jim at one point I think had like a Michael Golden um, short story, like the originals, kind of like the Tim Townsend thing. I remember yeah. seeing the original art one time. But this was kind of the stuff that JJ Kirby first showed me is like this page, and, uh. and like I said, I could tell it was drawn well, but I was like, I don't really get like why you're so like blown away by this this guy's stuff. This you know, looks like Beatty, uh, Beatty inking. Yeah. Um, but like toward toward the end of the run, you could feel the strain of how long it takes to do this right, <laughs> right. you know so yeah you can i mean Beatty's just knocking it out like a machine here but you could tell that the drawings that he's working from are a lot less you know labored yeah but it still has a great quality to it yeah you know, a lot of life yeah really nice oh look at this so this was interesting he was one of the first guys that ever saw that would use this like red pencil effect to like have a knockout in the background mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. I always wondered how they used to do that because I, I know they do it on acetate. Is it done on acetate here? I can kind of see a there's registration marks. There is an acetate on top of that. Yeah, it looks like it might be on vellum. Yeah. Yeah, because they would take um it's they like would take that and, and yeah, do another plate somehow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they used to do it. It's so easy now in Photoshop. <laughs> You know what? And here's someone else who was very influenced by um, Golden. Two artists I'll throw out right in a row: Aaron Weisenfeld and uh, Richard. Oh yeah, and oh Richard yeah, Richard Bennett. Bennett. Yeah, both of them for sure. When I saw this, it immediately made me think of. There's a scene in Team Seven where um, uh, Chang uh, puts a gun together in front of his eyes, like all the parts are kind of floating in space, and he brings the gun, all the pieces together, and uh, yeah. I seen uh, Michael do it. A gun very similar to this at a show and there's no reference around and he's just freehanding it and it's spot on perfect and clean and i'm like how do you do this yep. it's insane. he's i i i would i would bet that he has a photographic memory i yeah. mean he has to 
Now look at this. This is very different for golden, but I'm nearly sure this is a golden piece. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful wow. lighting on this arm. My God. He's got like Nightcrawler yoked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. Oh man. look, Sophie, the brush. Remember we talked about the brush strokes being the perfect like tapers. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's yes, he uses brush, but like there's this thing called a pit pen that like took everybody by storm at one point. Uh, yeah, Art yeah. Adams used it, Golden used it, or not Golden, um, Art Adams, uh, uh, Mike Mignola, uh, is the one I heard it from. He's like, uh, This is what I ink with because Art Adams told me, you know, yeah, but I see the same thing in a lot of like Golden oh, stuff. Uh, in, I love this page so much. Oh wow! Yeah, just just this the way that so, it, it's such like a great baseball. moment. It feels it feels so real. Yeah, he, he's he started he and uh, Claremont are who started the whole X Men baseball thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm Rick, pretty sure that that's where this started, and it's been a reoccurring theme to have the X Men play baseball. Rick Leonardi did a really, really nice um, opening splash page like this with them playing baseball. But uh, yeah, this is so good. This is brush inking right here. Yeah. You could, well, not the leaves and stuff. This you feels can tell. like Kelsey art. It is. That animation type uh, movement like Kelsey does. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey. What? Uh, Omar Omar Comics is wondering. He said he came late. What what book is Kelsey holding? It's a uh, Michael Golden More Heroes and Villains Sketchbook Two. Um, make sure I get this. So David, I have to ask you: Is this super fun so far? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a little forced. Let's try it again. David, are you having fun? Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this, this is the other thing that I pointed out, and and people were like, "Come on, Rich, dude, this is from Hellboy number one." That when Abe Sapien comes through the gates, you can't tell me that this was not influenced from Michael Go Mike, uh, yeah. Michael Mignola. Come yeah. on, this, th th there's a page. It's a oh, yeah. half half splash with Abe Sapien coming through doors, and yeah. the gates are like this. This is that's where he got the idea. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Fight me. <laughs> 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 no, I, I'll buy what you're selling. <laughs> yeah. I, I I believe this would be true. So I don't even know what this is from. Oh, House of Secrets, one fifty one. Ah, wow! I don't think I've ever seen this. The days of your. Oh, here's another page from it. Look at this. Come on, Mignola totally ripped this off. He, when you look at his early at stuff, this. it <laughs> looks like this. Yeah. Mignola's riding. Uh, I just I just Mike busted Mignola. Mike Mignola. <laughs> yeah. He's going to want me to edit this out of the video. I'm going to get Busted. a knock on the door. <laughs> Tonight at midnight, there's going to be a knock on the door. <laughs> Mike Mignola is riding Michael Golden like a human shish kebab. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, <laughs> he's watching the video right now going, I hope Rich doesn't go to the house of speakers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did this two years ago to me. <laughs> think kfap spots stuff like this i'm gonna suspect no oh, <laughs> although actually i've heard i've heard they have found some pretty good stuff yeah they have i i yeah we give uh kfab a hard time but i love those guys actually i, I watch all their stuff it's just we were the original kfab <laughs> yeah <laughs> no they were the original kfab though actually that's not true this is this nice. is so this is an interesting piece because he's doing a lot of uh design as yeah, storytelling very very there's no rights in <laughs> yeah this is very different it's this is helpful though to see the the gene colon that we talked about and yeah. all the lights and you know yeah. it all it, it all kind of lines up it's interesting how that happens if you look at a large enough um expanse of a body of work yeah and i love i love the lettering this is such a great example of how you know especially in in the old school uh a piece isn't really complete without the lettering I've never it, seen this before. This I haven't funny. either. This would look so different without this lettering on here. And this, I think the, the lettering is part of the design. This this right here reminds me a little bit of Jeffrey Catherine, Catherine Jones with the yeah. how, how open it is, like on Idol. Right. But uh yeah, so he was probably a studio fan, although I don't I don't really see any Barry Windsor Smith in his stuff. But um okay, mm -hmm. we are 
Greg Wilson says there's a touch of Storanko in his early work, oh, too. Yeah. People love to talk about yeah, this piece. Yeah, this yeah is, I see that. This is the original color guide for this, guys. What? Oh, wow. That's right. Wait, can you go on closer? Yeah. Of course I can, in. my friend. You just let me know what characters you want me to zoom a zoom in on. And we'll just did, follow them. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Golden did the original color guide for this, too? That I'm not 100% sure on. I'm not going to I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to say that this is the color guide to this piece. I bet he did. His, there's a reason have, why his stuff tends to be better colored. Oh my God, this is I have to do a black gold piece today for... Uh, a live stream on Aaron Lepresti's live stream. So all you guys go over there and root yeah. for me to kick Aaron Lepresti's butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing that today? Oh, sweet. Yeah. I'm going to watch. Yeah. Remind us Remind us before we log out. To the, okay. also, don't, don't be uh, scared to plug. And by the way, speaking of plugs, if anyone has anything that they want to plug in the chat, by all means, we always want to encourage that. If you, if you need some exposure, um, please feel free to promote your projects. Uh, well, I do Nora's Saga for Allegiance Arts. You can find that in Walmart, along with our other books, uh, Red Rooster and uh, Bass Reeves, drawn by Brohawk himself, Mr. David Williams, and The Futurist, drawn by uh, uh, Butch Butch Juice. How do you say his name? Geis. 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 Okay. I always called him the Juice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kennedy in the house. What's up, Eric? Eric, do you want to come on? Eric, Let me know. Let me know if Eric wants to come on. Come on, Eric. Come yeah, on you in. know you love the golden. Come on, show Marco. some love. Polo. Marco. <laughs> Polo. I'm going to actually have Kennedy on um, this week. I, I got food nice. poisoning. We didn't get to talk about me being sick all week. Oh, yeah. We went straight into the golden. Yeah, he's been yeah. he's been uh, riching his guts out from food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was well. The, the funny thing is, is I talked to Eric on Monday night at like eight o'clock. I was a hundred percent fine by like eight thirty. I started to get sick, and by nine, I was just like in hell. And then you thought, you know what, make this feel better? A big dinner. <laughs> yeah, no, I did, so that was, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't eat for a day, and then when I came back to food, I blew it. And I ate <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that! Like, oh, like, this oh, is one. Shit. This is one of my faves. God, I love this piece. Sometimes his his black and whites are a little tiny bit hard to read if you can't like look at them closely. But yeah, I think he's designing it for color though. Yeah, you know, no, he, no, not, he knows he's going to be coloring this. Uh, well, that's what I was going to say earlier. It, it seems like all of his pieces, even when he's just in uh, black and white, he's always thinking about color. Yeah. Always. Yeah, I yeah. still do. I still do my pouches like him. Uh, not that good, but <laughs> I like. And the, like you see the you see the bullet how it has these little highlights that kind of flick off. Oh right, right, right. I this still right do here. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice touch. It's amazing how much I've ripped off of my gold over the years. <laughs> the oh, little squiggly cool. highlights. The oh, I didn't realize that this guy is laying on like a like a platform right here. Man, that's so cool. Yeah, and he's he's falling. I love this like yeah. caught in mid action thing that he does. You know. Oh, and these are like the metal steps. God yeah. damn, this guy is clever. Dude. Oh, you see, <laughs> you see the foreground thing too. Those like ladder rungs on the pipe. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why I was just pointing out. Yeah. I didn't know to, and they go down really far. That's the yeah. funny thing is they actually really. Jesus Christ! That's the whole thing with you create depth, man. You want people to fall into this cover. Yeah. This stuff makes your brain hurt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. And again, I, oh. can, I can see some McFarlane um, being influenced by this. Yeah, that old school. Yeah. It looks like uh, Marshall Rogers. Yeah, it does. Yeah, wow. Really nice thinking on this, though. It's actually, it's kind of kind of neat. A little vintage-y. Yeah, there, there's a great book that just came out, which is M Michael Golden's Batman, I think, right? And it's like all of the Batman stuff he's ever done. What? Yeah. Yeah, well, some, some of those covers I was showing from that. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the covers. There's a couple stories. There's like a there's a story that he, I think it says, I thought he always drew it, but then I looked at the credits and like Mike Giordano like drew it and he inked it or did the finishes for it, but it looks like Golden, so... Look at this NAM. So this is from NAM issue number 124. This is when they're packing it up. 
Yeah, they're gonna go is... back to base camp and watch the movie, and then all the bombs go off. Can you it's page twenty four, but this is Nam one. Yeah, I, it's. I think it's a slightly oversized issue. Can you go to that second panel? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it. Armando. If Armando inked this one, he did a great job on this first issue. I mean. Look at that. I wouldn't tell the I wouldn't be able to tell the difference really if that was Armando or Wow or Golden. It's really well done. His cartooning ability is just phenomenal. Like this stuff has got such a level of um authenticity with like the, the attention to detail, but the the very um casual like drawings too. Hey, be sure to check your back room in case Eric wants to pop in. <laughs> oh, okay. I need to give him the link. Just, did, did he say he wanted oh. to I don't know. Force him in here. Send him that okay, link. Eric, come on. You son of a bitch. Get in here. I'll cut you. Yeah, I'm going to invite you. Let me put the uh, the link is going in the chat, Eric. Man, you're shanking people now, Kelsey. <laughs> Kelsey Show your know. love for the golden or I'll take you out. <laughs> There's the link, Eric. Let's give it. We're going to give Eric three seconds. To you just it. put it in the chat. So no, if chat can like come in. Well, I, I have to let them in though, Kelsey. You know that. I have power supreme. Yeah. <laughs> I can Gatorade to recover. Hey, come on, give it a shot. See if you can get in. <laughs> come on, Kennedy. Yeah, this is uh He's like he's he's in his underwear with his Yeah. <laughs> now he's laughing. Did, did you do a show okay. showing Kennedy? Yeah, no way. He he can't he can't come in. He's family time version of Eric today. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going back to the share screen. Uh Let's see. Oh, I guess I'm still in share screen. Yeah, you're in share. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought I I thought I had changed. All right, let's continue. Um, I can go for maybe like 15 more minutes. Yeah, I gotta eat, man. I'm starving to death. Yeah, wow, rub it in. That. Why don't you? Well, you probably, don't eat. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> you're probably having solid food, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna eat food and I'm gonna keep it down. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the leaflets. Oh yeah. So man. good. This tank. Oh man, just everything yeah. is so solid. Look at the tank tread. This guy he's just flexing all the time. This right here. <laughs> it's like, did this did he have deadlines or he's just like, showing up? He's just showing off. But the, when you were when you were away for a second, um uh, David uh, mentioned um that like he drew like like in a casual way where it was like there weren't deadlines, but like he must have had some sort of deadlines on this stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, he oh, did. That's that's why it got a little less right. less than this as it went on, you yeah. know. <laughs> um, this is shoot. I'm not sure what comic. Uh, Iron. It looks like Iron Man. Is that Tony Stark? Yeah. Oh, look at this. That's um the Mandarin, the real one. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Not that phony yeah, okay. baloney and that terrible Iron Man. Yeah, these drawings are a little more, a little more structurally loose. Yeah, this doesn't look like him inking. This looks like Tom Palmer Jr. on this thing, or Tom Palmer, not John Jr. Oh, look at this! <laughs> and that almost looks like one of your images, David. I think you've done that, like kicking at the camera shot of Spidey, and you colored it. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So you have. <laughs> it looks. It looks. It looks like the paper. Like. 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 I want Spider-Man's foot turned this direction a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Like, he had to like. He had to like kind of like make it fit. So he's like, oh, let, me, let, me, let me squeeze this in here somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna pat myself on the back here. I hold the distinction of having colored more David Williams art than anybody else on the planet. Oh, that's yeah, actually yeah. that is cool. Yeah. Wow. Yep. <sighs> yeah. Man, so good. Look at the, this the this guy's body. That's what I was gonna say. Wow! Every yeah, awesome. man, even when he's like going looser, it still blows a lot most people away. <laughs> if yeah. if I'm not if I'm not if I'm correct in this, I think he colored this issue, and like there's some definitive storytelling cues in the story. Like the one I'm thinking of is when they go to the watch the movie. Right, they're all blue. Oh, and that's, then that's and, the most beautiful colored page ever. Yeah, and then you see this explosion in the distance that's all orange, and then you cut to the guy's face, and it's blue, and then you see an explosion happen off screen because that's you can amazing. see his face get lit up by it. It's so yeah, cool. brilliant that, coloring. Honestly, if I could get the color guide for that, that would be my choice for the page. 
Yeah, good one. Seriously, no, I'm I'm not even kidding. That that piece sold me on Golden across the board. It was genius. You can even see him kind of. This is issue one, right? I um, think so. Yeah, you can even see him kind of like loosening up a bit here too, like in some yeah. of the faces, and yeah. you know, yeah, the rendering. Um, this is Marvel team up. Whoa. Oh. Man, your next show should be um, Arthur Adams and all the other people that are influenced by. <laughs> I've done a lot. Of, I've done a lot of Arthur Adams videos. Why don't we like uh, uh, Kelsey and I have already picked the topic for next Sunday, possibly. I mean, we're we're both sold on it. So, uh, but we could definitely do Arthur Adams at some point. But I've I've got like at least six or seven Arthur Adams videos. Yo, here's one of the armor oh, pieces. Okay. Oh yeah. He did some really, really good work for continuity and a lot of it. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. There's some like uh there's this one thing where you have to I, I still haven't found all the issues, but there are black and white interior pieces, like in the inside front cover or the back, I can't yeah, remember I what. But you're you you can piece them all together to make a giant Michael Golden continuity piece. Oh, how fun is that? This and this I, I haven't up, collected them all, but I'm still working on it. This ended up being a great video. I I had a hunch that it might be, but man, this, oh yeah, this is phenomenal. Well, I mean, you can't go wrong with Golden. I mean, look at it's just <laughs> every detail, everything is so thorough. It's it's aggravating because I know that I'll never. I mean, you could hit this level, but you'll never get anything done. Yeah. And this, yeah, and it's it's too late for me in that I've already shifted gears in that I'm more interested in telling more story McFarlane. than just making like one perfect image, you know. And that's the trap you get when you fall in love with guys like Adam Hughes or Golden or you know Brightson. Is that like this? And this looks like Kelly Jones. It this takes you my... forever. No, Kelly Jones looks like Golden. I know, but yeah, there's there's a great, an excellent run. I mean, like hundred plus issues, maybe. I think I could be over exaggerating, but Kelly Jones and and uh, Kelly Jones and and John Beatty on Batman did a great run. So if you like that kind of Nam style, uh, they did a great kind of run in a similar look. Here's a man bat page. Yeah. This is, yeah, the old, old man bat. People oh. were losing their mind over this stuff. Oh, I love this. Look how rough the inking is on this. This is one of my favorite of his, like, rough inking. Kelsey Wasn't he doing brother. the Batman covers the same time he was doing these covers? Maybe. Now, you yeah, can't, maybe. You guys can't see this on your end, but this is definitely rough board, too, by the way. It's very apparent, like, on my computer, oh. that this is this is this is rough board not smooth so that's part of the reason that he's getting a little bit of that hum everything that toothiness to the yeah line. you can really see it even in his black areas there's this like um bevel. this is definitely brush now when they're talking about michael golden ink with brush yeah i mean this is it right here good call kelsey well you could see i mean you could it's yeah. very clear it's like don't lie to me michael golden my my pride and joy i love you don't be <laughs> mad at me do you think liar he was doing brush on <laughs> do you think he was doing brush on the punisher covers and ink on the batman I, and pin on the batman covers yeah maybe because like if you look at the backgrounds I mean, you'd be a madman to try to do those in a in a brush now i can't remember what story this is for but this is the hell is this i know i'm like what <laughs> this is where are you finding this stuff? <laughs> what is this? I've never seen this before, ever. I have, I have a few pages from this. This, we'll just... this looks like Kelly Jones. Yeah. Well, wow. there you go. Uh, we're, we're, we're destroying all of our idols' uh, secret uh, stashes of uh, awesomeness. Look yeah. at this panel. Dude, this panel is amazing. Yeah, uh, Greg Wilson says, Kelly Jones was Wrightson's choice to finish his work. Always thought Jones was more Wrightson than Golden. That's true. He is yeah. more Wrightson, but when you look at his Batman run with Beatty, who is Golden's one of Golden's inkers, it, you could see it's like Bernie Wrightson and, and Michael Golden had a child, you know, and it made, yeah, yeah, yeah. It made that Batman run. 
So <laughs> if, if anyone in the chat knows what this story is from, let us know. But I'm going to take a guess here. Okay, so we saw some pages earlier from House of Secrets, but it looked like a different era. This He looks like he's definitely progressed like at least a couple of years past that point. But this there is, is brilliant a stuff. Yeah, but this, this there's a possibility that maybe this was done for like a DC horror book. We'll yeah, see. maybe. Yeah, like this, like I said, I've wow. got a few of the story. Let me see yeah. for a second if um, Hillary Barta and uh, oh, this is from National, yeah, this is from it does National have a Hillary Barta kind so of it thing. Says National, uh, I think it's National Lampoon. Oh, oh that's okay. A, that's a very ungolden face right there, though. Yeah, this. Yeah. He's like, crap, I got like 10 minutes left. Got the McFarlane here. <laughs> <laughs> I spent I spent two months doing these two pages and I got five minutes left. Let me cry about this face. I would say <laughs> the story is a bit of a hidden gem. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at the body movement. In, this is, golly, man. I mean, he, he's got questionable anatomy at times, yeah. but it's God, he more than makes up for it in everything else. <laughs> even this, this looks like an old school hotel, motel, swimming pool. Yeah. Just that weird blue that they'd always put on the side. And... God, hmm. so good. Interesting. Okay, so we'll do, like, we'll do like four more and then let's okay. wrap it up because I am actually hungry to eat something. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. I haven't ate in like four days. It's crazy. Don't eat that chicken. I know. Oh, I threw it out. I like, okay. <laughs> threw it up and threw it out. Wow. Did he color this? I don't uh, think so. I, hard to say. That's what I was wondering because it, it has the, it's like watercolor. Well, this is, this is original art. I'm going to guess from Heritage. So this is what the original art looks like. So there's a high likelihood that he colored it himself. Yeah. Cause that one panel, panel two looks like something he would color. It reminds me a little of um, Arthur Sidem. Uh, yeah. Who's also who's also a Bernie Wrightson devotee as well, uh, yeah. and and uh, well, more specifically, uh, Frazetta. But yeah, I wonder if there's any Frazetta in Golden. Like he, I mean, who isn't inspired by Frazetta? But yeah, I think so. Yeah, man, that first panel is great. Yeah, so good. His black placement too, man, is just is brilliant. I mean, because uh, it, it, when I do black placement in my stuff, it tends to look choked off, but like this dances around the page so, so effortlessly. This, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess the year that he did this is probably in the mid '80s because this this is giving me Bucky O'Hare vibes, even though it doesn't look like a Bucky O'Hare drawing. It does, but, yeah. But, but it's the same skill level, like this too. Like there's, you can see that. I mean, this is clearly someone that can draw very, very well at this point. And that organic quality, too, that kind of, yeah. like, rounded edges instead of, like, any hard stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it's like he probably did Bucky O'Hare right at, like, very close to after this. Because I think those those um, Echoes of Future Past, what year did those come out? Like, 86? Hmm. God, yeah. I don't know. This is oh, a really... wow. Look at that bug guy. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, that is so cool. <laughs> you could throw him in your uh your um hell story i might a bug horse uh pulling a cart <laughs> yeah like a beat up like the car that's just like junk that it just drags through the hell herbert crawley armageddon md well, that's great i love that <laughs> that's a great concept too it's weird that, so this one is lettered on the boards so this was written by tom todd carroll Art Michael going, oh, st of course, Steve Olaf. Steve Olaf. Wow. Oh, and Orzachowski on lettering. This yeah. is an all star team here. Yeah, dude. I, when I see Olaf's name on so many great things, and this is a small scan of this. Yeah. All right, let's do one more. Let's, let me, I'm going to go out and we'll look for a, a, a money, money. Yeah. And then you got a hard question in the chat for you. A good, okay. good one to close off with. Okay. Look at this. That one right there. Yeah. That's oh, nice. Man. Great shadow work. Man. It is really <laughs> See how the underside of his brow is got, it's not shadowed out. So he's got like bounce light yeah. reflecting off the upper part, upper part of his brow. No, on the, on the guy. No, oh. he's just straight up. You see, oh, Look at right that. it's like a bit of bounce light coming in from the side. Yeah. 
you could just imagine him putting like a different color right there. I mean, if you yeah. took that feathering stuff off, it it could feel like a Sin City type piece. Yeah. 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 No imagine, right. imagine him doing Sin, Sin City. Oh my God, <laughs> his Marv would be insane. There's just a few more in this folder. Let's just look at him real quick. Okay, Talk so about the Kirby Hulk. His Marv would look like Kirby Hulk. Oh, here's another one of the rat pages. Yeah, I love that. Wow. Whoa. That's God. Awesome. Talk about an artist edition that's just begging to happen. I mean, it's like just do, don't even do like a specific thing. Just do Michael Golden artist edition and just get anything you can get. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, they, they call those artisan editions, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, you know, look, I'm, I guarantee that Scott Doombeer has been in contact with Golden about something like that. For but, sure. You know, obviously they've got to get Marvel and DC's approval or whoever he's worked for and all that. But I mean, they've done enough of those books where I would believe that it would be doable. Oh, this is that piece we were looking at um, earlier that I was saying could have been a Jurassic Park cover. This is this is well, he did he did one similar to this. I, I mean, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's one where it's like a helicopter and then like a uh, a, a yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you call it a hanging off Velociraptor, of yeah, hanging off of. It. <laughs> that's another one that's very brush. You could do your own bootleg uh, art edition. I actually, yeah. I love the fact that you don't get to see the other person's hand, like you know, like whoever fell or they're just gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. it's like like whoever he's reaching for, or, or they're about to. Uh, maybe they're they're flying in to help him, but yeah, it's like man. And it, this makes me think of like Platoon. You yeah, know, they're, when they're William Defoe. Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so much drama in this piece. Okay, so great. Uh, no, we're only going to do four more pieces. We're like 20 pieces well, in. It's, 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 it's so well, hard was, to stop. <laughs> there, was, there, was, there was only four more left open. So, okay, we've yeah. seen this. Michael Golden oh, was like a drug, man. It's, like, dude, just hook it up to my veins. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, dude, Elementals. Elementals. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The Bill Willingham joint right here. So this looks like it was inked by someone named Gustavich. Hmm. He didn't. Nice Elementals. Job. Elementals was such a great series, and you could probably still find it. Um, what was it? it? Wasn't first comics? Who, who did Elementals? Comico. It was Comico. Yeah, Comico. I actually like these um, these costumes that these guys are wearing. Like this is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It's like Kur Kirby esque um, in a way. Man, these guns are great. Look at this gun. Uh, the clothing and the i mean this everything oh the this, helmet and the goggles getting knocked yeah. sideways on that guy <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. It, it, it reminds me of like an adam hughes piece when when adam like like kind of had a little tiny bit more of his old school sort of influences oh man to me this is comics where you know the gun it looks like a gun that could work but it, it's no gun you've ever seen it's a comic this, book gun this big clip on it is great that's just huge sort of Flip whatever thing. that is yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't need to make sense it's a freaking yeah. comic book yeah oh my gosh <laughs> it's just got to look cool yep. <laughs> yeah this is really a beautiful piece this is real nice and again yeah, this is a great McFarlane. one and that feels very mcfarland to me it does yeah. the, Todd had that that early thing oh look at this i love todd's philosophy you know do this faster Right. You know, and then you end up with ex still excitement, you know, but you're not laboring the details. I mean, I, I, you know, we appreciate Golden for that meticulousness, but, you know, it was when you're doing interior pages, it's not really a great idea, but yeah. go for broke on covers, man, you know? Sure. Oh my God. Okay. We saw that one already. Okay. So let's, let me get out of this. That was fun. Let's, okay. There we go. Look at David. He's hiding in the shadows. <laughs> Jasper Plan Nine's like Kelsey, fire up a stream. Let that square rich go eat oh, pizza wait, rolls. We're, we're gonna put people like let's let's. Hi Art, how are you? We need to have you on, Art. You've had one of the most incredible inker careers out there, and uh, it would be a travesty to not have you on. And obviously, talk to dude about too. But I, I mean, would love to embarrass Art with my love for Antoine, his work. I always love <laughs> Antoine. What is up, Tony? Tony, I actually have four black drawing style pieces up on my comic art gallery that are for sale, but they, they're very expensive. But I knew you had asked me about that a while ago, but you can at least check out the ones that I have up. Um, let's see, we got Death Cure. And so look, we want to thank everyone that came by. 
um let's see did we show marvel's marching madness yet we might not have gotten that one in it it was difficult to have everything hmm. um yeah Thank you, you had a it. super chat jasper <laughs> yeah no i'm gonna go eat too i'm gonna go eat my pizza rolls <laughs> we definitely we have to have dan we have to have dan on for a golden two yeah we didn't know no. that david was going to come on our plan was to just have david on as a guest but he was in the chat so we threw him a line and pulled him in so david you're going to be on on uh lopresti's stream later doing a draw off what are you going to be doing yeah he's been challenging me like uh we already did like four of them and i whipped them all four times i think this is the fifth <laughs> <laughs> so come over and root for me to to smash him some more <laughs> we're, we're drawing black bolt i do all you draw stream I, i'm gonna be doing that uh soon enough uh i got a lot of stuff to finish uh that, that i can't show i'm working on a lot of stuff i can't show that's the i'm always doing that but soon now i'm gonna be on the stream all the damn time you're gonna be sick of me because i'm gonna be doing my own book here and i want to show off huh Antoine bought a, a eleven hundred dollar Dale Keown piece on Friday. That is ooh, very dang! I, I missed that. Um, your your um your your visual on your camera right now is funny because it reminds me of David's book where he had the original sketch, and yours looks like it looks like you're showing me like your sketch. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it looks like it could be. Yeah, maybe yeah. it is. I'll just say that. <laughs> yeah, I know David's. I mean, David, yours really did look like it was a printed page from the book. It was it was laid so precisely on the like the piece. Here's an example. That's yeah, where mine book. should be. I didn't get one. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you I got that. I don't have to... <laughs> and he did mine for free. So oh. <laughs> Apparently, you owe people a life <laughs> the draw stream, Kelsey. Yeah, I do. I, I well, I, I was asking if they would like to do a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a live stream where I'm just gonna hang out all day. But I gotta get to a point where I have a day where I could do that. Oh wait, uh, and I'm just gonna draw a piece from beginning to end, and we're gonna just gonna hang out with chat and can, can you know. You, can you zoom in? Can you show the Wolverine piece again, and I'll solo your screen real quick, Kelsey. Do you know what who me Wolverine yeah. piece? Which one? It might have been in the book. Like when uh, you're looking through the book, was there Wolverine? Was it what did it look like? Do you remember? Probably, it's gonna be close to where like somewhere in there, maybe. Maybe that like, one. Is there a black and white Wolvie? Uh let's see. Well, yeah. Maybe not in this one. Hmm. I, we don't know what sorry, we don't know what piece it is. Um, we'll go through oh yeah, look at this cops the okay, job this is for like the tv show right cops oh yeah <laughs> wow that, that car is kind of funny though it's very boxy it is yeah it, well, you it, be, like I bullet think, holes in it, was, it was the spread with the colored one so a few pages before oh uh oh yeah 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 this is this is the this this piece has informed so much of what i do okay, your camera color wise little, see if you can zoom oh. on will be yeah, yeah that's a little better isn't this great? Yeah, uh, the rin the rendering on here. If you notice too, like take note of, watch how the rendering goes. It it has a flow to it. It's not just everywhere. It kind of flows off of each other, uh, so that it's not like a bunch of lines going this way and that. There's there's method to the madness. Sure, it all creates volumes. Yeah. See, and that's what we always stress. Make sure your lines count. They're not just put willy nilly. What's funny is I don't think anybody can buy this because it's a, it, or maybe you can. It's a, it's for the investors and an annual report. Oh wow! That's so this cool. is a double page spread on their, on their year's earnings sheet that they had. So they got Michael Golden to do just that, and I don't know how I ended up with it, but I have uh, right here. I actually have. I don't know if it was an ad piece or um, yeah, here it is. Oh, oh yeah. I have the actual. Well, that's the cool. actual you thing. Actually have it. Let's see. Yeah, so I was talking to the. Uh, oh, how funny! There was like a book in where, here. Where did you get that little collectible? I don't know, and there's no price on it, so I'm not sure that you can actually buy this or find it anywhere. I'm not that's even sure where I got it, to be honest with you. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, now I kind of wish I had the interior because it, I mean, 
this is something that not everybody has. We were talking about this this morning, Antoine, The um, that Christmas special that he did. That was right when I started collecting comics. I didn't even know it was a golden cover, but, man, I held on to that thing forever. Then you can see the rest of his arm. It was kind of blocked in the middle of the book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Look at his Thor. That's kind of like I, a weird I, Thor like, head. But like oh, hair. He, oh, it could be, yeah. But, no, no he's got the hammer, yeah. yeah. But he's like, mm, that toe tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> so, always, always trying to do michael golden even if, with my wolverine <laughs> yeah oh dude yeah oh we yeah you've actually done some like straight up kind of om style homages to some of his wolverine stuff like with the it was like a hulk hulk wolverine hulk that you did yeah look i i got one up on the on oh here pop pop his screen up yeah no worries let me uh um, oh, I'm gonna remove you from. It'll salt. take 20 minutes. Yeah, no. <laughs> I did it. I did it in one click, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's great. Woo! Is that the original? Uh, it's just a copy of it. Oh my god, that's beautiful, dude. That is so good, David. Damn, dude. I suck. I need to draw better asap. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I I was trying to show some Michael Golden love in some of these. Oh, I mean, if if someone just handed that to me, I would think it was Golden, honestly. <laughs> so I think you hit hit it on the nose. Damn, those are nice. Well, this was really fun, guys. I'm honestly thank you both Kelsey and David for coming on. Absolutely. And man, I can't wait to watch this back myself. <laughs> Seriously, like this is like, man, there's a lot of vitamins in this episode. Yeah, have me on any time. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. No. I'm just talking to Kelsey. He doesn't call me. <laughs> Kelsey's phone broke. That's, yeah. I'm actually making excuses for him now. I've got Stockholm <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks oh, wait, for having me. How do I get all three of us? Wait, how do I he do jumped it? out. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh wait! Oh, oh add to the stream. I you lost booted you. me. I oh, I'm there sorry. You. <laughs> okay, let me do this then. There, yeah. All right. I don't like that. <laughs> Let's do this layout. That's what we like comics. <laughs> well, that was that was awesome. Uh, Antoine, I'll send it to you through Twitter. It's uh, comic art fans. My gallery on comic art fans. Or oh, hold on, I can, let me grab it really quick. Oh, that's another great resource. I love, love, love comic art fans. The only downside with comic art fans, I warn people, is like not every gallery is equal. And the thing is, is like like my gallery right now, I don't have super high res scans up. Yeah. So it can be frustrating because you'll see a piece and you go, "Oh my god, I've always wanted to see that in black and white," and then it's the size of like a trading card. That's my yeah. gallery. That's my gallery right there, Andrew. Uh. Oh, okay, yeah. Shoot, I'm gonna look at that. I'm selling a bunch of art. My scans are small right now because I don't have a premium gallery. I'm gonna buy one later today, but I'll have to re-upload everything to have the larger view. But I was broke. Broke is a joke. <laughs> and I had an upset tummy. <laughs> Aw. Well, you go, you go, you go. Buy some art so my tummy can feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I did good how's, yesterday. How's your creator own thing going, uh, Rich? Yeah, it's that's the good. question. I'm, it's it's going great, honestly. Like, I mean, the script has been done, um, and uh, I'm I'm been drawing like the Crystal Planet. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, like honestly, what's what's been great about um, actually not being able to work on it while I'm doing Crystal Planet is just the fact that um, I'm improving. You know, I'm improving as a penciler and an inker and as a comic book storyteller and artist. So it's it's actually. Um, the joke is it's like crystal planets, a little bit of my practice pancake where I can, <laughs> I can, I can try things and fail and mm. it, it, it's, it's okay. You know? So awesome. Yeah. But, yeah. No, it'll, it'll, it'll be good. So yeah, everything's going well. I'm excited to draw the next issue of crystal planet only because of the fact that now I've got all this Michael golden in me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm gonna like McFarlane. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Well, see, and, well, and here's here's the deal. Honestly, is like I can cheat, and my cheat is this: is I can dump the blacks in in Clip Studio if I wanted to, oh. and that will actually save a lot of time for for doing that particular story. 
because I'm not. Until, a, I'm not. Until somebody psychic. wants that original piece, then you're like, damn it. <laughs> well, no, 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 I mean, then you just fill in the blacks later. You know, like you fill it in as needed. Yeah, mm. Godzilla and Hell is going to be up for sale if it's not already. It's expensive though. Those those black drawings are like very precious to me. But I put four up. There's um, Trans Metropolitan piece that I did, Godzilla and Hell. Judge Dread, and then a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is the cheapest, but the other ones, they're expensive. <laughs> mm, as they should be. Well, dude, there's no one in comics that draw shit like that. I mean, I'm not saying like like my level of draftsmanship is that high, but but they're very unique unto themselves. So mm -hmm. anyway, but all right, you guys have a great day. We can say goodbye in the private room, David, where Kelsey right. gets dancing. In for. private. <laughs> All right, everyone, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you all later. Thank you. See you again. Later. Bye.